Hello everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome! I am finally back for some more of the Forever Lock Challenge here with Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Um, <laughs> it's been a minute, it's been a minute. Hey there Bulbasaur, hey there Maxi, hey there Yumi, oh my goodness, so many cool people. Um, welcome everybody, I'm, I'm so glad, I'm so glad that you could join us. Um, yeah, no, I am, uh, I am finally back. Um, I am finally back from my, from my, uh, little, little week-long vacation, my little, uh, mental health break, and, um, I will say it, it, it did help, it did help a lot, so, um, I think it was a good call on my part, um, I appreciate everyone's patience in, in waiting for me to return, um, <laughs> I missed you guys, I missed you guys a lot while I was gone, I was thinking about that a lot while I was, uh, while I was on vacation and stuff, um, but yeah, so, um, with all of that said, um, I am finally back. <laughs> we will we will be streaming once again. Um, uh, this this week is a little bit different schedule wise. Take a look at the schedule in the Discord if you're if you're curious. Um, yeah, I've, oh, oh, that's so nice. That's so nice, you. I'm glad you missed me too. It makes me feel good. Um, actually, so that's where you've been. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was on I was on a little little vacation. Um, I, I went to, I went to go see my mom and um and and just kind of generally wanted to take a little mental health break. Um, so yeah. Oh hey, yeah, yeah, you were on vacation too, Bulbasaur. No, like just just um, coincidentally, that's kind of funny. Um, but uh, oh, I, I hope you had a good time in Florida. Um, but yeah, so um, but yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling good now. I'm feeling good. Um, yeah, I, I definitely am, Maxi. Um, I uh, I feel a lot better. I um, I uh, took some, took some time to myself and just kind of thought about you know life and try to try to feel generally more positive vibes and stuff like that. So. Um, you know, I'm not a hundred percent. Um, I don't think I ever was, was going to be, but I'm definitely a lot better than I was when I left, um, at the end of the last stream we did. So, um, that's good. In any case, um, today we are here to finish off Pokemon XD. This should be, if I'm not mistaken, this should be the final stream for Pokemon XD. Um, ran into some weird technical issues at the end of the last stream, hilariously enough. Um, that resulted in us not being able to finish off of the, like, literally the final boss of this area. Um, so that's what we're going to finish off the final boss of this, uh, Cypher Key layer here. And then after that, if, if my memory serves me correctly, we'll be moving onward to, um, like, literally, like, the final, the final portion of the game. Um, like, we're, we're going to go to, like, the, the, the secret base of Cypher or whatever. And, um, and fight, and fight all of them it's it's i remember it being a pretty tough little gauntlet of just like back to back to back trainers so it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be interesting but in any case let's let's get a team recap going here because it has been a little while since i saw this team um ah yes here we go yeah this is this is all coming back to me <laughs> uh this is a good little team this is a good little team I, I actually rather like this team um so yeah we have uh we have jirachi here our wishmaker jirachi of course holding the leftovers it's got Protect Psychic, Thunderbolt, and Thunder Wave. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. I think I may have taught Thunderbolt to Jirachi at the end of the last stream. I feel like I didn't have Thunderbolt before, but it does now, so that's that's what's important. Um, we have Nanners here. Let's see. Holden, Miracle Seed, of course. Yes. Uh, Nanners, the Tropius, with Growth, Razor Leaf, Body Slam, and Magical Leaf. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. We have Muddle. Uh, we have Muddle, the Whiskash, with the Sea Incense. Uh, it's got Mud Slap, Protect, Water Pulse, and Earthquake. Ooh, Bulbasaur's, Bulbasaur's got the question of the day. Oh, God, what is the question of the day? Uh, did I update that? <laughs> uh, I, was that the... Hmm, I don't remember if that was the question of the day on the last stream or not. It's been so long now. But regardless, uh, Bulbasaur has answered the question of the day, um, which is, which mainline Pokemon character would you want to see interact with uh, which Pokemon Col Coliseum or XD character? Um, that was suggested by, I believe Starchamp suggested that one. It's been a while though, so mind me if I'm incorrect there. <laughs> it was the question last time? Okay. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, that, that, that seemed like the case. I'll just leave it up for today, just because I, I couldn't remember, and who knows, maybe someone will have something fun to say. Like Bulbasaur here, who says, Cynthia and the final villain of this game so that they could uh, see each other, and Cynthia saying, and they thought I was tough. <laughs> uh, very nice, Bulbasaur, very nice. <laughs> Was a star suggestion? I thought I thought so. It seemed like a star question. Absolutely. Uh, but anyway, so uh, yeah, there's Muddle. Muddle's looking really good. Really, really happy with this little, little smiling wish cash. Uh, we have uh, Cobalt here, the Laron, um, King's Rock, uh, Iron Tail, Protect, Headbutt, and Metal Claw. Looking really good there, Cobalt. 
Uh, we have Ball. It's baby Ball. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Uh, Lax Incense on the Sphere. Encore Protect, Water Pulse, and Aurora Beam. Oh, that's right. I wanted to talk to you guys about this. So, um, I remember that we were frustrated because we couldn't get any water moves onto, um, onto Sphere. Uh, I found out where I could get Water Pulse. Uh, it was actually really easy to get, too. I literally only had to finish the second round of Mount Battle. So, like, you know, you have to do the first 10. So if you do 11 through 20, the reward at the end of the 20th challenge is um, is uh, is uh, Water Pulse. <laughs> so I was uh, I was pretty happy with that. Um, I just went and did it, and, like, they're really weak. They're, like, like level 12. <laughs> they were, like, level 12 Pokemon, so it was just, like, just blast through it and get Water Pulse. So I got Water Pulse for Ball. That makes me happy. <laughs> uh, ooh, Bulbasaur has redeemed a Lid's Pokemon opinion. Um, uh, says, speaking of Cynthia, I uh, want your opinion on this on the pseudo-legendaries. Uh, oh, you mean, like, just, just, all, uh, just all of them? Wow, hot damn. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess, uh, since it's such a broad question... Um, I guess I'll just tell you which one's my favorite. I like Dragonite a lot. <laughs> Dragonite's really cool. I like how I like how chubby he is. Um, uh, Dr Dragonite Dragonite is really cool. Um, what is that? What is that? I like Metagross a lot too. Uh, although I'm very scared of Metagross whenever I fight it. I love using Metagross, but I'm very scared of it. <laughs> so, um, sort sort of a, a pretty pretty general question, but uh, yeah, that's 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 what I'll say, Bulbasaur. Uh, Me Metagross and Dragonite are where it's at. <laughs> Ooh, Gudra's really good too. I didn't I didn't think about Gudra. Uh Yumi. Yeah, Gumi. <laughs> Gumi is very good. Gumi is very good. Um Alright, anyways, uh, let's let's finish up this team recap real fast. Uh we have Franklin here, uh, our lovely Dust Clops, Spell Tag, Shadow Ball Protect, Earthquake, Confuse Ray. Looking great. Looking looking very great. Yeah, I do I knew you meant Gumi. <laughs> I like Gudra. I think I think she's really cute, but <laughs> Oh, ooh, we're gonna get all we're gonna get all all um all, all competitive in the in the in the chat. I say I say you may <laughs> go be better than Gudra. <laughs> I disagree. Well, okay, I don't disagree. <laughs> I think they're about on par, honestly. Gooby is as cute as Gudra is adorable, in like different ways though. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like Gooby's like cute, like squee cute, but like Gudra's like cute, like cute, like adorable cute. Like like I want to hug you, cute. I thought I wouldn't want to hug a goo. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know how to say words. Um, Bolters, remember, ghost and dark are resisted by steel type. Yes, in Gen three, yes, they absolutely are. Yeah, that is that is true. That is true. Um, in I think in it was Gen five, right? Gen five onward is the one that maybe it's in six. One of them makes it so that steel doesn't resist ghosts anymore, but I don't remember which gen it was. <laughs> I never can for some reason. I would also hug Gooby. See that I was. It was like. It made sense in my head, but it's not right. It was Gen Sex. Oh, thank you, Yumi. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, you guys, let's uh, let's jump into this thing. I've stood around for long enough. Let's um, let's go. We, it's so funny. We literally were about to fight the boss when I had like technical difficulties at the end of the last stream. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna come in here and fight the boss of this area, and hopefully not lose immediately. That would be embarrassing. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's let's go. We are all my crew. You wiped them out? Every last one? Impossible. One kid took down all those shadow Pokemon we made? Ugh. I'm wrecking my... In, in wrecking my factory, you smeared dirt all over my good name and standing. Oh, he's mad. <laughs> You've done it now. I'm steaming mad and there's no forgiving that. Ever. Be prepared to drop. Oh, he's an angry boy. Hey there, Gorgan. If I remember right, this guy does, like, Earthquake strategies. Like, he does, like, Protect Earthquake strategies. Like, okay, that, that's his thing. So I do I do want to do want to kind of be careful on this one. Uh, let's just Thunderbolt the Celio here. And, um... Also, yeah, I guess just uh, Razor Leaf? Yeah, sure. Super effective. Hey, Celio goes right down. Very good. That's actually really good. That makes me happy. I didn't even think about it. Uh, if that thing had used an ice move on Nanners, that would have been a bad time. <laughs> I'm glad that that just went right down. Is there a future sight? No, we don't care. We don't want future sight. 
Yeah, how is uh, how's everybody else doing though? Um, I was I, I I talked talked at length about how I'm how I'm doing, how I'm feeling. How are you guys all doing? It's it's been so long. Uh, how is the Bulbasaur? How is the Yumi? How is the how is the Maxi? Um, yeah, do tell, do tell. And of course, anyone else who feels like answering, I would love to hear how you all are doing. Okay, we got Iron Tail. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, Thunderbolt, Slow King. We're still good, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're still good. We're still good. Okay, that's fine. I don't care if you protect Laron. Maxi says, I'm doing good. Stream will be fun tonight. Ooh, what do you, are, are, I, I assume you mean you're streaming. What are you streaming tonight, Maxi? I would say, I, I've been wanting to, to go, uh, pop back into another one of your, uh, especially your Ocarina of Time streams. I love the, I actually had a lot of fun the other night, uh, uh while you were playing that. Um, I just, I've just been really busy with like, uh, like various like housework stuff. So uh, I unfortunately was not able to pop in. Um, but yeah, what are, what are you playing tonight, Maxi? Uh, let's see. Yumi says, uh, I'm lost. It's been too long since I played Banjo Tooie. Can't find the one of the note nest. Oh, very nice. I've never, you know, I've never played either of the Banjo games. Or, well, I should say any of the Banjo games, because there's technically more than two. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've uh, I've never played the Banjo games. I really need to. Uh, all right, let's see here. Uh, let's focus in on the Ursaring, I think. Ooh, well, that was a that was a big mistake. <laughs> Oopsie doodle. Wasted turn. Protect will do that, I guess. Wait, wait, was, does that mean that... Okay, I was going to say, does that mean Laron's going to go for Earthquake? That could be bad for Jirachi, actually. Uh, Bulbster says, says, I'm doing pretty pretty dang good. I came back from Florida today at 5 a.m. Oof, that's real early. <laughs> hopefully your hopefully your sleep pattern's not all uh, not all jacked up, Bulbasaur. <laughs> that's the worst after a big, long flight like that. Uh, Max says, tonight's RPG, Maxi, so it's an RPG. Oh, very nice, but it's on the second Saturn. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'll uh, I'll try and pop in if I if I if I if I'm able to. I have some plans tonight, but depending on how things go, I might be able to pop in and hang out. So I'll uh, I'll let you know. And of course, feel free to feel free to uh, promote yourself in the in the promote yourself tab on the on the on the Forever Lock Discord. Please do, please do. I always love seeing you pop in there. So yeah, please do, please do. Uh, anyway, let's now let's double up on the Earth Ring. I assume that it's not gonna go for Protax twice in a row. Okay, not enough to kill, but Nanners can finish it off. Flash. Ugh. Okay. Okay, Nanners, Nanners doing good though. Nanners doing good. First ring down. Very good. Next up. Ooh, that's okay. So that's a Shadow Primate. I remember that. I remember that. That is a Shadow Primate. Uh, we 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 cannot catch it or anything. We already got our um. Actually, <laughs> I think I remember. I, d I deduced that I I didn't have any uh, Shadow Pokemon I could actually catch uh, in this location. So um, yeah, we are um we are not concerned about his Shadow Pokemon. At least, well, we're concerned about them fighting them, but we're not concerned about uh, catching them. I should say. <laughs> uh, let me heal up Nanners real quick. That's a little little low for my tastes. Let me. Oh god, I can't remember how to play. I don't remember how to play Pokemon games. What? Uh, hold on, let me see here. Surely we have some manner of potion. We have super potions. 50 points. Um, God, I wish that was more. Uh, here, let me just switch. I will switch instead. So we got Laron and Primeape. Um, definitely don't want to send Cobalt out. Uh, let's go to Franklin. Franklin will be good. Uh, Yumi says, my TV has such low brightness, which makes the, this game a little more annoying and difficult to... Ooh, unfortunate, Yumi. I, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Is it? Are you playing it on, like, an HD television, or are you playing on a CRT? Alright, Primeave goes right down with the Psychic. I thought it would, so that's good. Ooh, I see, Bulbasaur. I see. Got a... I was, I was saying, it sounds like you got a pretty involved vacation, though. That's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. It's it because sometimes people just like, kind of go on. Ooh, earthquake. Uh, uh, okay, we're fine. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, and that hits Franklin too, of course. But also hits your Hypno, so... Free damage there, that's nice. Yeah, this Dust Clops actually works out really well for us on the, uh... On, on that. Um, I don't remember what I was saying before, but I'm sure it was something important. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's, um... Let's go for... Uh, Thunderbolt? Let's go for Thunderbolt on Lairon. And, um, we'll go for Shadow Ball on Hypno. Oh, it's a, it's a CRT, I see, I mean, I see. Playing it, pl kicking it, kicking it old school, I see. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, that's, um, I, I enjoy playing, um, ooh, Shadow Storm. Uh, I enjoy playing, uh, retro games on a, on a CRT. I actually have a, I have a really cool little, um, I don't, I don't get to talk about it very often, so I gotta show off a little. Uh, I have a cool little gaming setup where I can essentially, um, I actually have three TVs in, in my game room. Um, one of them is an HD TV, and then two of them are CRTs of different sizes uh, and in different locations. And I've actually got it set up so that all I have to do is flip a switch, and it will swap the input from you know, uh, from one of my one of my TVs to the others, so it'd be like, oh, if I want to like kick back in my in my in my on my couch or whatever and play um, a game, I could just be, uh, even though it looks shittier on an HD TV, I could just play it on the HD TV. But if I really want, if I want to play it the proper way, like with the CRT and the whole nine yards, uh, I could just hit a button and it will it will let me do that. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I'm happy with my setup. Oh, I want a JVC Pro really bad, Maxi actually. <laughs> <laughs> you guys sounds like you got a really nice one. Yeah, I, I want a JVC uh, CRT really badly. Uh, the ones I have are just like shitty, like who cares TVs. Um, but yeah, no, I really I want I want a nice retro TV myself. Uh, I'll get one eventually. I'm not gonna take this. I'll blow up the whole factory with you in it. Ah! Gorgon, that's quite enough. Except that you have lost the Master Grievel. What? It was the rich guy we saw before. Crazy. Oh, that's nice, Maxie. That's super cool. Lucky, lucky ducky. Ho, ho, ho. We meet again. You do remember me, don't you? Yes, indeed. I am Mr. Varich. Or perhaps I should say Grievel, the Grand Master of Cypher. I must say that I am taken aback. I never once imagined that you would destroy our factory. But that's not important. Even though the mass output of Shadow Pokemon has ended, our plan itself is unharmed. We have already completed XD001's final tuning. It now rests with me. Uh, he says, uh, this CRT is just a really old one my grandmother was getting rid of. Ah, makes sense. I mean, that's where I got I got both of my TVs, um, just for people who were getting rid of them. So, uh, I don't think I don't think you ever did, Maxi. Feel free to do that though. Uh, yeah, feel free. I, I would love to I would love to see him. XD001, the ultimate shadow Pokemon that's resistant to purification. Now I shall prepare our final plan to activate XD001. Do you honestly think you can stop me? I shall be at Cypher's HQ. It's on Cytodark Isle off the coast of Gatenport. It's an impregnable fortress that repels all with cruel waves and thick clouds. No one can reach it. Come if you dare. I'll enjoy waiting for you. <laughs> oh, it only has one audio out, uh, input? That's, yeah, I was gonna say, that's, that's a... That thing's barely holding on, Yumi. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> Master Grievel has such a wicked sense of humor. No ordinary ship can get close because of the rough seas, and even if you do manage to get on the island, the place will be swarming with traders carrying the shadow Pokemon I made. Even though there are, there should be a lot more shadow Pokemon. If XD001 didn't drop that ship in the desert, we would have taken, we would have taken so long to uh, tuning the shadow Pokemon. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. There are plenty of shadow Pokemon to welcome you in style. How many are there? <laughs> I can't tell you that. If I did, it'd floor you. It's just a matter of time before the world belongs to us. You better be ready for it. Ooh, very nice, Maxi. Very nice. And it sounds like you have, you also have like a pretty awesome setup, so that's super cool. Yep. There, there's something very, very nice about playing playing uh, old retro games like on the TV that they were designed for. You know, it just feels really good. It feels really good. All right, but there we go. Yeah, uh, Gorgon went down really easy. That's that's very helpful. Very, very helpful indeed. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the brightness issue is, is a problem. Is it is it like you just can't adjust it? Like, there's not a button for it? Because I was going to say, you, I don't know if it doesn't have, maybe it doesn't have, like, a TV remote or something? Or is the brightness, like, just just broken? Um, I guess there's, like, different <laughs> different scenarios for that. 
I was gonna say, if it's broken, that's a big rip. But if if it's just like, oh, you don't have like a remote or something to adjust the brightness, you can get like universal remotes that will uh, that will allow you to do that. Oh, you just don't have a button for it. Oh, okay. Uh, I was gonna say, yeah, you you can you can fix that, Yumi. Um, uh, all you have to do is get a universal remote, uh, which usually comes with um, they usually uh, the one that I got came with like a little booklet. That was um, it essentially uh, allowed you to tune the remote to the CRT. It should work, Yumi. I was gonna say unless it's like one from like the 40s or something like, or like the 50s. Um, it, as long as it's like a you know a, a, just a standard like CRT. Like I, like I have like the one I have is an old RCA model from like 1998 or something like that. Um, and yeah, it, and it, the universal remote I got on Amazon was able to tune to it no problem. Um. It comes with a booklet that that, like like I said, there's there's a booklet that comes with it, Yumi. It, it'll it'll be like, what's your, you know, what model is it? Um. Uh, it, it it has like a whole list of like different like brands or whatever. And I guess the way that it works is like all the different brands, um, all the different brands have um different like frequencies that they run on, and so it just like is able to tune the the remote to the specific brand, and then it will work. Um. So yeah, like uh, you, you can get one. Like, like I got the universal remote that I have uh, on my. It's actually on my desk right now. Um, it's um, it's a uh, stinking. It, it was like five, like seven dollars <laughs> on Amazon. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you, you have an option if you if you if if you needed to uh, to get something. So there you go. <laughs> there's my there's my two cents on the matter. Um, where, where do I go? I know that they. I know that we have to make our way to. Let's see. Hold on. Did I? I didn't get like a PDA or something, did I? So I don't remember exactly where I'm supposed to go at this point. Let's see. Mailbox. Uh, we don't want, really want to go to the Realgum Coliseum. Um. Game second hiding place. Yeah, we don't care about that either. I guess let's just go back to the Pokemon HQ lab. Hey there, Secret Boss Sauce. Uh, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm back on the bottle. Oh my goodness. Uh, I am not, but I am back streaming. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go and talk to maybe someone in here will tell us. Hopefully this is one of those, like, if they just told us where to go and I just wasn't paying attention sorts of deals. That would be unfortunate. Top four. No, see, yeah, it's not. A, I know it's not very many. I don't have very many. I can't catch that many. <laughs> Let's see if I can find uh, the professor or whatever. Yeah, what do you guys say about this predicament? Cypher's Grandmaster Grievel has challenged you to get to him on Side of Dark Isle. It appears that our battle against Cypher is headed for the final showdown. It's not hard to imagine things becoming even tougher for you, dear. But Lids, I know that you will win against the criminals. I believe in you. Pardon me, you ruined Cypher's secret factory? That means no more Shadow Pokemon will be created from now on. That's brilliant news. It really is done it, Lids. <laughs> Dr. Kirby says back on the bottle implies the bottle uh, the bottle ever left. <laughs> Why are you guys saying these things? No, I'm very, I'm very good. I don't do things like that. I'm very wholesome. <laughs> but there still remains a job of snagging Shadow Pokemon left and purifying them. I guess the time has come for me to give you that certain something. Lids, on your next visit to the lab, could you meet me on the ground floor? There's something I want to give you. Don't forget. Uh, okay. I will do that. Are you down there now, or...? <laughs> uh... Or does it want me to, like, leave the lab and come back? What do you want from me, game? <laughs> Ooh, uh, did you, did you post something in the Discord? Let let's take a peek real fast. Let's take a peek real fast. Um, ooh, oh, that's nice. What a cool little setup you got there, Maxi. I like it. Aw, oh, that's a cool monitor, too. I mean, that, uh, the, yeah, that's, that's, hmm, wow. That's super cool. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Oh, you can't find it, Yumi? Well, like, like I said, it's, it's like dirt cheap to get one on, on Amazon if you need to, so... Uh, that 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 could work in your favor. 
Uh, okay, now I'm gonna go back in and see if, if uh, what's his name? I, I think he gives me a Master Ball, and I might as well snag that. That'd be nice. What, does it not count? Maybe he wants me to come back later. Alright, well, let me, um, or maybe, maybe I just have to leave the area and come back to get that Master Ball. Oh, it's the remote for your monitor. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, games messes are really good, Maxi. Who doesn't love a good game mess in front of the TV? That's like the classic stuff there. That is the cla Oh, there he is. Hi, Nids. I'm glad to see you back. There's something I wanted to give you. Could you come here, please? Ooh, secret staircase. Aha! Did I startle you? Now come with me. It's over this way. Come with me, please. You got it, sir. He says, we probably have a universal remote somewhere, but I feel like I tried that before. Uh, I mean, I was going to say, like, um, the, the universal remote that I got, like I said, came, it came with, like, a manual. Like, literally, like, this big, thick, like, little little manual of, like, hundreds of different brands of TVs uh, with different, like, code frequencies that you could, like, punch in. Um, so I was going to say, I don't know if, maybe that's, like, online somewhere. And maybe you could you could use that with the universal remote to like figure out what it is, but um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know for certain. There's a lot of variables to that. <laughs> the battle against Cypher appears to have entered a decisive phase. I think the situation calls for a special solution. Lids, there's something something here that I'd like you to use. Go on, open the box. It takes take what's inside. Hey, we got the master ball. Very nice. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm not sure, Yumi. Uh, that's not how it worked for my remote, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's a master ball. It's a one. It's the one Pokeball that is foolproof. It has a 100% capture ratio. You should only use it if you're sure that it's the right thing to do. Keep at it. Yay, we get a master ball. Very nice. We already had one actually from a previous playthrough, but <laughs> Ah, very nice, Maxi. Very nice. That is that is helpful. That is very helpful. I was gonna say I, I I do have the S video adapter though. I rarely I rarely use any of my retro games on stream, so I haven't uh, I haven't gotten the uh, the settings for that all configured myself. But um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, where do I go now though? Um, let me go up here and talk to the professor again, maybe. I did. You, uh, you were great to destroy Cypher Cy Cy Secret Factory. It's unlikely that more Shadow Pokemon will be created from now on, but there still remains the job of snagging the Shadow Pokemon Electro Purify. Okay, so you got nothing to say. Where the frick do I go, man? <laughs> Only use it on Venonat, says Yumi. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, ooh, yeah, Maxi is a gamer girl, totally. <laughs> Clean your room, Yumi! Aw, too busy sleeping. <laughs> too busy to too busy sleeping to clean the room. Um, oh God, freaking gate and port maybe. I mean, I know I know that I need to like get get to the island from here, but I don't remember who I talked to to make that happen. Um, oh God, I'm all oh the Robo Kyogre. I forgot about that. Uh, maybe I go into the part shop. Talk to that. Talk to that that guy. Hello. Ah, yes, very good. Progress. Yo, Lids, big news, real big news. That Robo Kyogre we've been telling you about is finally done. Once Grandpa got down to it and got serious with it, he put together something kind of amazing. Come on over here, guy. You have to listen to my Grandpa. Okay, yeah, this seems right. Oh, God. We got a block beep her? Rude. Like Per said, we finally assembled the Robo Kyogre. It's truly a work of marvel, hmm? What's wrong? Anything the matter? Well, I'll be. Cypher's headquarters is on Sidedark Isle. And you intend to go there? Sidedark Isle, or Sidedark Isle, huh? When it's on a place like that, no wonder nobody's found Cypher's base. The currents around the isle are swift, and the weather is always storming. The place can't be approached by sea or air. Er, that was certainly true before. But now, however... I get it, Grandpa. The Robo Kyogre, right? Precisely, Per. It's our Robo Kyogre will be able to reach the isle. All right, we must prepare for the launch of the Robo Kyogre for lids. Come, Purr. Yes, sir. 
Yay! Okay, yeah, we just going. We just going. Um, I really quickly, I want to go hit the Mart real fast. Um, I want to get some better potions. Hopefully we have access to Hyper Potion. Oh, jeez. Ah, here you are. Over this way. Look toward the pier. That's the Rebel Kyogre. Doesn't its blue form thrill you? It's all ready to go. You can leave whenever you're ready. Yay! <laughs> He says I'd probably sleep better with less dust to be I mean yeah that's a good point. Dusting is important, especially if you have a lot of collectibles. I I, I could say that with certainty. I have many collectibles and I have to dust like several times a week. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm just gonna heal real quick for posterity. Also because I went into the wrong building and didn't want to look like a fool. Alright, well let's go up here to the mart. That's where I meant to go the whole time. Okay. Hello. Greetings, we've added new merchandise. Ah, cool. Finally, my merchandise selection is the best in ore. Oh, uh, my dream doesn't end here. I want to be the best shop in the world. Oh, no. I beg your pardon. Uh, max potions and a uh, full restore. Would you like some? Hell yeah, I would. We're getting quite the jump here. Yeah, we just get into full restores. Hell yeah. Hyper potions do a lot of health, though, so we can probably we're probably safe without the max potions, but we will take full restores, absolutely. Uh, oh, also, we don't have a whole lot of cash, do we? We should sell some stuff. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. What can we sell? Uh, Yumi says, I uh, I have other more important things to do, though. I mean, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. It just be that way sometimes. Uh, okay, we don't need the Awakening because we have a Blue Flute. Let's get rid of... Ah, uh, the PP Ups could be useful, but they, they're also worth a lot of money. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to sell them all. I need potions. <laughs> I, I definitely need potions. Um... Let's see, let's see. Uh, revives, we can of course get rid of those. I mean, that's really it, huh? Uh, any TMs I can I can afford to get rid of? I kind of want to keep most of these. Yeah, I want to keep all of these. Uh, all right, well that's all we got. So we better better use our our money sparsely. Um, get like ten, yeah, ten full restores, and then we'll use the rest on. We'll use the rest on on hyper potions, I guess. Get twenty eight of them. Let's do let's do twenty. Let's do twenty of them. Um, I don't know how we're doing on pokeballs. Right? Actually, now that I think about it, I could sell probably some of the pokeballs. We have two master balls. I don't want to use both of them. I'm going to use one of them on side of dark isle. But we also have a regular side of dark isle encounter. Oh, but we're we're actually fine on that though. Let's just sell all these pokeballs. Sell the regular pokeballs. Um, well, this should be enough, I think. This should be enough enough Pokeballs to um, for us to get that last. Uh, that's actually our last encounter of the game. We ha we have two encounters to get on Side of Dark Isle. To be clear, we have the regular encounter, and then I'm counting Shadow Lugia as separate. So, um, yeah, we have the regular Side of Dark Isle encounter, and then the Shadow Lugia encounter. So that is what we are after. Um, but that should be plenty. So yeah, I'll just yeah I'll just use the rest on Hyper Potions. So nine more Hyper Potions. That'll work. That'll work. Okay, we're all nice and nice and geared up. Nice and nice and geared up. Um, so yeah, let's uh, head back over to the dock. I, I do also want to quickly, uh, before we head over to the island, uh, I do want to quickly um, uh, run to uh, get a refill on coffee. <laughs> so, because uh, I just I just finished off my cup. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna save real quick just to feel good about myself, uh, and then um, and then yeah, we will. Um, uh, upon my return, we shall head to the final area of the game. Hell yeah. So yeah, I shall return shortly, you guys. Stay tuned.
Okay, I have returned. Thank you all for your patience. Um, uh, Maxi says, uh, do you like uh, Duncan, my dapper bulb? Is that is that the little Bulbasaur uh, artwork you have on your streams? I was gonna say, if that is the case, yes, I do like I do like it. It's very cute. <laughs> Um, all right, let's do this thing. Let's, um, are, are we ready? Oh god, I'm a little intimidated by Side of Dark Isle, because it's, like, full of really strong Pokemon. Um, I think we'll be okay, but god, am I nervous. God, am I nervous. <laughs> I am not a fan of this development. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try our best. Ride the Robo Kyogre, yes. Off we go. There it is. I also remember this area being like really, really long. Like it's it like it just it just goes and goes and goes. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Hello. Hey you, that thing you're riding on, it's kinda cool. I have a feeling that I met you in a port somewhere, but I don't give a hoot about that. I do have a problem with someone who shows up here without a passenger on our boat. Uh-oh, we fighting. We fighting this guy. Do you have a Shadow Pokemon? I feel like he might. I feel like this guy might have a Shadow Pokemon. We are doing Encounter, like I said, so we definitely want to pick one of those up. Crawdont and Pelipper. Got Bull and Nanners. Oh, hey there, Duke, Duke Dinklage. Oh, God, if I can say any words. <laughs> hey there, Duke. Welcome. Uh, lovely to see you. How's it going? Uh, okay. Is this okay for us? Um, it's, uh, ball is fine. Um, we can just protect, I guess, just see what see what he does. And I guess I could just go for magical. I mean, technically, Nanners is weak to flying from that Pelipper. What would it have though? I don't even know what it would have. Aerial Ace? <laughs> yeah, no worries. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I just usually greet people by their whole name when I first see them. Sometimes. Well, that's not even true. What am I talking about? <laughs> Hi, Duke. How's it going? <laughs> um. All right, yeah, so I think I'm safe to Magical Leaf the Crawdont. Hopefully they just double up on Ball. I love, that's one of my favorite things in Coliseum in general, is uh, whenever you use Protect and then they both go for that Pokemon. That's one of the most satisfying feelings in the world. <laughs> very good, Crawdont goes right down. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, Mantine. Mantine spooks me a little bit, honestly. Uh, I should actually, um, I'll stay in with Ball. Um, let's see, I'll just go for... I could, I, I could try an Encore in the Pelipper, that'd be kind of funny. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, so yeah, let's try that. Uh, let me let me swap Nanners out for uh, Jirachi had Thunderbolt, right? Let's do that. <laughs> Duke says uh, half the streamers I follow just greet me with "Hey, buddy," because I'm everybody's buddy. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> well, hey, buddy. <laughs> it's uh, it's lovely to see you. I'm I'm glad to be back finally. <laughs> Ooh, wing attack. Okay. Well, you're encored into that now. So at least I know what you're gonna do. Alright, so let's, um... I'm just gonna protect again, and then we will go for the Thunderbolt on... Uh, this is Pelper's locked into Wing Attack, we know that. We'll just go for Thunderbolt on Mantine. Aw, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful Maxi. <laughs> Alright, Mantine goes down, no problem. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, Nanders hits level 40, very good. Golduck. Not Shadow, is it? Oh, it is Shadow. I think I have a Golduck, though. I think so. Oh, hey, Star Champ, welcome. Lovely to see you. Uh, do we have a Golduck? 
Um, we do. We do. So we are good. We do not need this Golduck. It is not our encounter. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Um, probably want to get that, um, here, I'll use, uh, I'll use Ball's turn to Super Potion up Ball. And uh, then we'll just have Jirachi go for the Thunder, the Thunderbolt on the Golduck to hopefully get it out of here. That sounds like a good plan. Oh, that's very kind of you, Duke. Yeah, go, yeah, go everyone go follow Fantastic Maxi. She's she's wonderful. Um, all right, yeah, Thunderbolt the Golduck. Aw, <laughs> that's so nice of you, Star Champ. Uh, uh, it was good. It was good. Uh, it was very relaxing. I um, I was able to to sort of do a lot of uh, mental um, meditation, I guess you could say. So um, yeah, yeah, I'm doing uh, I'm doing good. Ooh, Sableye, we don't have Sableye. We do not have. I actually do want that. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna double check just to just to be safe. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we want that Sableye. Uh, we do not have Sableye. Yep, that's definitely our encounter right there. Definitely, definitely. Okay, so yeah, let's go for... Uh, I'm going to Water Pulse the Sableye and Thunderbolt the Pelipper. I think that sounds good. <laughs> it's it's kind of funny to blow our, our Side of Dark Isle encounter so early, but I mean, we need the Sableye. That's the first thing we saw, so... Side of Dark, to be clear, Side of Dark Isle is, for those who haven't played XD, absolutely riddled with shadow pokemon there are so many of them here um so yeah that's uh that's gonna be interesting shadow blitz there it is okay good damage oh we're in the rain that makes sense uh okay so from here i can actually pop a thunder wave with jirachi real fast that's actually kind of nice too um, I'll use Ball's turn to throw a ball, just to see. Maybe we'll get lucky and catch it early. Um, yeah, great ball. And then, um, for Jirachi's turn, I'll go for Thunder Wave on the off chance that the great ball does not work. I love, I love how XD and Coliseum are out here like, what, you couldn't focus on, on the Pokemon, even though there's two at the same time? Well, joke's on you, I can. <laughs> Hey, very good. Yes, ball for ball. Hey, and it worked too. Very cool. <laughs> we get ourselves the Sableye. Very nice, very nice. Um, while I'm thinking about it, so it's not gonna let me nickname it until it's purified, but just for, for uh, future, you know, future future Lydia to, to record. Um, what do you guys want to name the Sableye? I am open to nickname suggestions for Sableye. <laughs> if anybody has any, I would love to I would love to hear them. Darn it, I've gotta report this. Uh, SPS is call it Bright Eye. That's actually a good name. Will that fit? Will that, will that fit? I don't know what the character... Ha Maybe if I, like, made it one word, that might fit. I could also just uh, cut the S, make it just Bright Eye. That's a good name, SPS. That's actually a really good name for a Sable Eye. I rather like it. Thanks for the suggestion. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. Let me, uh, let me rearrange a little bit. We definitely want to try and keep our guys uh, up to snuff here. Uh, Duke says, what level are your Pokemon? They're all in the 40, or uh, approaching 40. Um, we're, I think we're on par with where we're supposed to be at this point, so that's good at least. Uh, does this guy fight? Hello? Huh? How did you manage to get to this island? You wrote that here? That's awesome! Even Mr. Varich, the world's richest man, doesn't have one... Yo, he's the world's richest man? Hello? <laughs> he's he's that rich. The, the world's richest man. Wow. Wow, that's a that's that's a lot of money. <laughs> oh, aye, it excites the sailing man's heart. Me, listen, uh, how about let me take a ride in that? Sometime? No, it's mine. Oh, now come on, a luxury cruise liner is fine and dandy, but a real sailing man, a tough and wild boat, that that the ultimate. Am I right? But come on, come on, fella, just think it over one more time. No. Oh, uh, do I have to say yes? That's right. That's the spirit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, he gives me battle CD. Oh, that's nice. I guess. <laughs> I would say I don't think so. I, I've got I've got thing. I, I know that the end of this area is in, at level fifty. Uh, the Shadow Lugia is at level fifty. Uh, we're we're at low forties. We still have tons of trainers to fight. So I think we're okay, Duke. 
I think so. I, I, I did check all this uh, at the end of the previous stream, which was granted a week ago, so I'm a little fuzzy on it. But, um, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure we're in good shape here. Does anybody come out of this elevator? No, it's just, it's just blocked off right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back for the elevator later. Um, I believe that's just like a shortcut back to the start. Yeah, here we got a nice little healing station. That's nice. I'm glad I just wasted that super potion. Feels kind of bad. Okay, cool. So yeah, let's explore a little bit. I know that there's plenty of trainers to fight in here, and there's items to pick up, and there's cypher grunts to fall from the ceiling. <laughs> I appreciate you looking out, though, Duke. That's that's very kind of you. I always love when people when when people do that. If you guys can catch me before I make a mistake, I appreciate it like tenfold. <laughs> But, I mean, at least based on, like, the levels of that last guy I fought. Let's see, what are this, this guy's levels? Um, let's see here. Yeah, thir like, low 30s? We're, like, way, way we're actually over-leveled. <laughs> um, I imagine by the time we get to the end, we'll, we'll be, like, about on par with, uh, with Greville and, uh, and the other admins. Um, so I, th I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Uh, okay, Masquerade. Let's, um, Aurora Beam that. And... I'll just double up on it, get the masquerade out of here. I'm not worried about the Dunsparce, honestly. Good damage. Oh no, uh, I was gonna say, I, th I have it written down actually somewhere. I, I haven't looked at it today, but I have it written down. So you know, you can, you can tell me what his highest level is, Duke, that's fine. Just make sure it's the shadow team, not the uh, not the the rematch team, because uh, that's what I'll be fighting. I'm not worried about his rematch team. Yeah, Rosalia. Ooh, that actually kind of scares me a little bit. That kind of scares me a little bit with this with these two that we have out here. <laughs> I'm gonna do a uh, I'm gonna do a little switcheroo here. Let's see, we got Dunspa. Uh, we should yeah, we'll we'll switch to Cobalt. That's fine. The highest is 15. He has six shadow Pokemon on his team. Yes, that, that, I did know that. I did know that. Perfect. Thank you, Duke. I appreciate that. Um, okay, yeah, and then we want to switch here as well. Let's go into Franklin. You're having, are you're having some, having some difficulty, Star Champ? Or wait, is this is this a pun? I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay, sweet scent. Not worried about that. Oh yeah. Uh, also, how is uh, how was the Star Champ today? I I, I asked uh, earlier. Oh, Cipher. P I, I had a feeling like once I once I saw saw that. Yeah, I realized it was probably yeah what the Cipher's name was. <laughs> uh, but yeah, how is how is the Star Champ today? Uh, I asked I asked other folks. How is the Star Champ? Uh, okay, let's go for a Metal Claw. Uh, oh, actually, do I have, I have Protect, don't I? Yeah, Protect. Earthquake. Right? Hold on. Protect. Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure. <laughs> don't want to. Don't want to hit Cobalt with uh with an Earthquake. That's a bad time. <laughs> uh, Duke says if you need to know something, I have Google open so I can look it up if you need to. I appreciate that, Duke. That's very kind of you. Yeah, I, uh, I, I ask I ask folks in chat to look stuff up for me all the time because I'm a lazy piecer. So yeah, I appreciate that greatly. <laughs> uh, I see, Star Champ. Uh, I, I I presume you mean uh, your Minecraft building. Uh, I hope that goes well for you. I'm sorry I wasn't able to really help a whole lot <laughs> the other night. I was trying. I was trying. But I hope I hope that that works out for you. It's a, it's a tough build. Very tough build. All right, spin does next. All right, and we'll go for how about an iron tail? Who actually I can do the? Oh no, I don't have earthquake on cobalt. For some reason, I thought I did. Okay, yeah, we'll just go for an iron tail on Dunsparce, and we'll go for. Ooh, actually, I can't. Hmm, I'll just protect this turn, I guess. Uh, 
Haha, you've been blocked. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, I had a good, I had a good little morning this morning, you guys, I will say, um, I, I pushed the stream back time, or the street, uh, start of stream time back, there we go, <laughs> I can say words, um, as you guys probably noticed, um, and yeah, I think that, um, I think that was a good call, I, I, I really do, um, hold on, did Franklin actually land? I don't think it did, hold on, let me, let me play this safe, let me make sure I don't fuck this up, um, yeah, let me, uh, I'll just confuse Ray, confuse Ray's spin that. Um, and that helped, I think that helped a lot, because I was able to, um, I was able to, like, eat breakfast and, like, have, like, a couple cups of coffee before the starter stream today, um, and I didn't even, like, I did wake up earlier than, like, sometimes I do, but, um, oh, you have own tempo, dang it, um, and yeah, I think, uh, I think that extra, <laughs> it's crazy how much an extra 30 minutes can, like, kind of help your morning get together a little bit better, but, um, yeah, no, I I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like this is the one. I'm feeling like this is the, the we, I finally landed on the schedule that I think will, will work for me. <laughs> uh, okay, now I can protect and then just earthquake. Uh, Star Trek says, also, how come nobody told me Mimikyu was busted? Yeah, Mimi. oh, well, I'm telling you now, Star Champ, Mimikyu is busted. It's a great Pokemon, great type combo, great stats, um, good move pool. Um, the disguise is absolutely busted. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, uh, there you go. <laughs> there you go, Star Champ. Yeah, Mimikyu is incredibly good. It is an incredibly good Pokemon. Yeah, it's, yeah, you, yeah, you didn't ask. <laughs> you didn't ask. It's true. It's true, Yumi. <laughs> Ooh, Ball got some experience getting to level 40. Very nice. Like same with Muddle. Moving up in the world. Okay, now let's uh, hopefully finish this off. Um, I'll use Franklin's turn to wake up Cobalt. We're not playing that game. Where is our blue flute? There it is. I don't even know how to say that that word and or name and or designation, <laughs> Maxi, but I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Spinda's down. Very good. Spinda's kind of cute, though. <laughs> I like Spinda. All right, beautiful. Haban goes down. And yeah, luckily there's a nice little healing station right over yonder where we can go. No, Ball, you can't evolve. Uh, where we can go and heal up, so that'll be good. That's awesome, Sartamp. That's awesome. That, that makes me happy. Oh, the battery. Oh, I see, I see. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I don't even know what that means. I've, I've never had a Saturn, to be clear. Uh, that is one retro console that has continued to elude me. They're expensive and hard to find. Like, even even when you do find them, which is very rare, um, they are stupidly, stupidly expensive. <laughs> oh, you have a friend who really likes Spinda? That's awesome, Yumi. That's awesome. Spinda's awesome. I know Dapper Kirby really likes Spinda. <laughs> but mostly for meme reasons, so that's that's neither here nor there. Oh, I see. I see. I'm not tech-savvy either. <laughs> I like retro games, but to be honest, I'm not the most tech-savvy individual out there. He usually never leaves the Luxo Cruiser. Where's he off to in such a hurry? Oh, I know. You chased him off. <laughs> Just joking. Want to race me? Yumi says, so when I get Spindas, I name them after her. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Uh, Dev Kirby says, uh, I think it's Dizzy Dance in the 3D games is just really cute. It is really, really cute. Spinda's just, Spinda's just a cute Pokemon. Spinda could use an evolution, though. I would love to see, if they if they made an evolution for, for Spinda in Scarlet and Violet, I would be okay with that. Okay, so yeah, we got a couple of flying Pokemon. I think this is okay for us. Uh, we can Aurora Beam. Why don't we double up on the Dodrio here? Okay, Shadow Blitz. Aerial Ace. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, SBA says I still have a Saturn. That's awesome. Yeah, I never, I never had one. I was never a Sega kid growing up, except for my Genesis. I had the Genesis. That was uh, it, and the Nintendo Entertainment Center system. Excuse me, Nintendo Entertainment System. There we go. Um, those, th those two were my first consoles. I got them both simultaneously as my first ever video game consoles. I want to get a Saturn eventually. It's, it's like I said, it's one of the ones that's eluded me. I do have, a, I have a Sega Genesis uh, Model Two, Model One, uh, and I have the Model Two CD expansion. Um, I want to get a 32X and a Saturn, but uh, and I have a Dreamcast. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm missing a couple of them though. Okay, um, another Wish Cash. Uh, a little nervous here actually. Uh, let's see. I don't want to do this. Just protect with ball. And... I mean, I, could, I guess I could hit the other wish cache with a earthquake. Sure, why not? Uh, Sarge so says, my only issue is I'm struggling to understand how to use Trubbit. It, it's a little, little, little... Are you not evolving it? Are you not making it into a Garboder? Or... Yeah, we bonk that other wish cash. Very good. Uh, Sergeant says my first my first console was a GBA. <laughs> uh, same with that for Kirby. I mean, nothing wrong with that. GBA is a fine system. That is a fine, fine system. No, no question there. Uh, I'm gonna switch ball out. I'm feeling nervous. Uh, Zatu? Oh, actually, Zatu is kind of a problem. Uh, let's go to Cobalt. And then we will just go for a Water Pulse on the Zatu. Uh, Sergeant says, no, uh, Sabrina is a, is a Trubbish forever. Oh, I see, I see. Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna narc on you for, um... Uh, for for stinking having unevolved Pokemon, me of all people, and um, I am not allowed to do that. <laughs> I understand, Star Champ. Well, I, I hope that you can figure out the Trubbish situation. SBS says so. If you complete the Forever Lock, does that mean you'll finally switch over to starting to stream uh, Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, no, probably not. <laughs> but um, <laughs> uh, I I don't know. I I maybe uh, maybe one of these days I would um, maybe one of these days I would consider. Uh, stinking, uh, playing, like, one of the Yu-Gi-Oh games on, like, uh, maybe that can be, like, one of our Friday streams or something like that at some point. That'd be fun. That would be fun. Actually, hold on. Let me, I'm gonna protect with Cobalt. I'm gonna protect, and I'm gonna go for another EQ. Get rid of the Whisk Cash. SPS is not gonna lie, I might drop in for some of the latest Yu-Gi-Oh game. Uh, the latest Yu-Gi-Oh game... Uh, oh, interest. The, the, is there a new Yu-Gi-Oh game? I say I got one on Switch, but I haven't played it like at all. <laughs> it's just kind of been sitting on my shelf for a little while. You know, I would I wouldn't mind um I wouldn't mind playing like one of the old GBA Yu-Gi-Oh games on stream. That would be really fun. <laughs> she says you heard her. She's going to she's going to forever lock the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be kind of wild. Yeah. Like if if uh if a uh, if a monster goes to the graveyard or is banished, then I'm just not allowed to use it ever again for the rest of the game. <laughs> Yo, Yu-Gi-Oh does lock. That'd be kind of wild though. There's no way it would work in practice, but <laughs> that's kind of a funny idea. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's um, let's go for a Metal Claw on the Raticate, and I will heal Muddle. Super Potion, I think, should be enough. Yeah, close enough. Thirteen says, "Oh man, old Yu -Gi old Yu-Gi-Oh GBA is uh, jank is so fun." I know, right? Yeah, there's something. I don't know. For some reason, there's something about um. There's something about those old GBA games that just really hits right. You know what I mean? It just—I don't know. They—they're—they're they're fun. They're really fun. I like them. Ooh, 
we've had a rush. Okay, we're good, we're good. Uh, Yumi says, GB, G, Game Boy Color Dark Duel Stories, the awful game that I love. I was, I think I have that one. I think. I think I do. Alright, get Raticate out of here. I've never played it. I have a, There's a lot of games on my shelf that I just bought for, like, collection purposes that I do intend to play eventually, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, classic Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, especially, yeah, I mean, like, classic, classic Yu-Gi-Oh was definitely a better card game than these days. <laughs> I can say that with confidence. Uh, here, I'm going to spend this turn healing up just in case. Uh, we'll go for the full Hyper Potion Gauntlet here on uh, on both Cobalt and Muddle, just to be safe. I know it's just the Zatu left, but might as well play it safe. I'm not trying to lose anybody at the last minute today, I'm really not. <laughs> Yumi says Yu-Gi-Oh was always a bad game. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> uh, okay, Metal Claw and Water Pulse. Uh, Star Champ says, uh, uh, Stairway to the Destined Duel, GX Duel Academy, and any of the World Championship games. Yeah, those were a lot of fun. I played the crap out of the, the first GBA one, uh, Eternal Duel of Souls. No story to it, just Duel Simulator, but, like... It was really fun. Also, it, it like has a lot of all the old banned cards that you like. Like basically, it has a lot of the cards that were banned almost immediately, but like the game came out in a window where they weren't. So like, there's a lot of really broken strategies in that game. Like Cyberstein, Blue Eyes Ultimate, like turn one, <laughs> which is absurd. Um, so yeah, it's um, it's a fun fun little game. I I actually really want to get the the GX Duel Academy one. I heard that one's actually pretty decent. Uh, Duke says the old Yu-Gi-Oh community was less mean. Uh, was also less mean. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. Uh, card card game communities can be really mean. Yeah, it's true. Um, you gotta have the right group. Gotta have the right group, and that can be difficult sometimes with uh, with card games. A lot of a lot of not to not to generalize or anything, but a lot of a lot of people in card game communities can be very like condescending. What what you didn't know this thing about this card that came out 25 years ago? That's pretty cringe, bro. Just like, all right, cool. <laughs> uh, definitely, definitely makes me want to continue to to, to play with you. Um, but in any case, <laughs> enough of uh, enough of my complaining. Let's switch out. Um, do some rearrange in here. Yeah, uh, let's do cobalt and bull. Well, that's pretty cool, Star Champ. <laughs> Item. Max elixir, very nice. Uh, let's fight Sailor Sailor over here. Hello. Dev Group says, hey, Eternal Duel still has a plot. You're a detective slash duelist finding all the translations and grammatical errors in the dialogue. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh yeah, I mean you're not you're not wrong, Dev Kirby. Yeah, the, the translation uh for the quote unquote dialogue of that game is truly egregious. <laughs> but I don't know. It's uh I, I played the crap out of that game when I was when I was growing up. That was like like it and Pokemon were like the games I played on the GBA like the most. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm very nostalgic for that game. <laughs> oh, look at the Corsola. Oh, that's nice. I like Corsola. Um, okay, so let's go for let's go for Water Pulse on the R on there. That'll be good. And uh, I guess we'll go for uh, Iron Tail on Corsola, I guess. Sure. Neutral. Neutral stab. Hey, very nice. Very nice. Course slow goes down. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> it's kind of, honestly, it's like kind of a part of why I don't play uh, Magic the Gathering anymore, to be honest. Uh, Star Champ, it's, it's like, yeah, like, people who play card games can be really, like, like, really, like, I don't want to just say mean, because that, 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 that feels like it undervalues the point I'm trying to make. Like, they're just, like, really, like, condescending, and, like, they, like, talk down to you. It's like, oh, you play that way? Oh, okay, well, you're not fun to play against, but, you know, whatever. Just, like, ugh. 
<laughs> that's the thing, Yumi, is like, I had people who were my quote-unquote friends who who were like this. And it's just like, I mean, I don't talk to them anymore, to be clear, but it's just like, man, <laughs> man, thanks for saying I like I like Magic the Gathering. That's a fun game, but I don't like the I don't like the the people I've played with. <laughs> I don't like the people I've played with. Uh, okay, so let's um let's get this Pupitar out of here. Uh, <laughs> SBS is shitty like Star Wars fans. I was gonna say I'm not familiar with the with the the people who are in the Star Wars fandom, so uh, I can't I can't comment on that too much. <laughs> Uh, Depaker says people t t tend to get kind of elitist and hyper competitive at high at higher levels. Not a fan personally. Yeah, no. I mean, I mean, hell, people tend to get a little a little um, elitist even just if they have a competitive like n like nature about them in general, regardless of if it's high level play or not. Yeah, not to not to dunk on magic. Like I said, just to be just so I am clear, uh, I do love magic. Mag magic is fun as hell. Um, it's just, you know, you have to have, like, a really good group for that. And, uh, unfortunately, I have not had a whole lot of experiences where I had a healthy magic group. Um, you know, not every game was, you know, terrible or anything like that. But it's like, you know, sometimes you just have a, a, a group of players who just, you know, get really butthurt when you do a, when you do a strategy. Just, like, if it's legal in the game, don't get mad at me for playing the freaking game you know what i mean i had that that happened to me all the time i'd come up with a cool strategy and be like oh cool i'm gonna build a deck around this idea and then people would be like oh that that that, that that's uh that's just a gimmick that's a gimmick deck and it's just like fuck you <laughs> it's, a, it's fun it's part of the game uh i hate people <laughs> i hate people anyways this is why i, ha I hang out by myself all the time now <laughs> uh anyways uh okay let's um Let's go for, we'll do Water Pulse on Giraffe Rig, and we'll do Metal Claw on Sneasel. Uh, Jeffrey Kirby says, uh, never, never forget the golden rule, SPS. Nobody hates a series more than its fans. That is very true, Dapper Kirby. That is very, very true. <laughs> Uh, Yumi says, me, Star, and another friend have been doing a Yu-Gi-Oh draft thing, and I honestly forgot who, who won in the uh, in the matches. It wasn't important. Yeah, it's true. It's true, yeah. Winning is not important. And uh, it, when it comes to like games like that, it's about having fun with your friends. Yeah, I agree. Big time. Big time, big time. <laughs> Maxi is a people, Yumi. You're a people cringe. <laughs> yeah, none of us are people here, Maxi. Come on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, all right, let's go for Aurora Beam, and I still I wish we had a Rock move, uh, but we don't. So we'll just rock out with a Metal Claw on the Golbat. Ooh, SBS has redeemed Question of the Day suggestion. Suggests if you could have a Pokemon as a stand with its ability determined by its Pokedex entry, which one would you choose? That is a that is quite the question. <laughs> Um, thank you. Yeah, thanks for the suggestion. I'll, uh, I'll get that written down. That'll be a future question of the day. Um, so thanks, SBS. That, that's a funny one. <laughs> um, this, this might, this might bother some folks in the chat. I'm not sure. I have never seen JoJo at all. <laughs> not even a little bit. <laughs> don't, don't, uh, don't blast me, please. <laughs> okay, very good. All recorded. <laughs> Maxi dies, I guess. <laughs> I like the I guess there. That has good energy to it. Uh, all right, let's go. <laughs> oh, that's why you. Add oh, I see. I see. You're just. Uh, you're just trying to trying to challenge me. <laughs> uh, ooh, the seeking kind of makes me nervous. Let me swap out Cobalt just to be safe. Go into Nanners. Thursday says, would recommend. JoJo is, is a silly, is silly fun nonsense. I, I probably will watch it eventually. Um, it is, it is in the plans. Um, 
Did it has uh, I was gonna say, is it, it's not finished, right? It's still like going, if I if I understand correctly. Well, Max is not a fan of JoJo. I mean, it's fair. Like, it, it, I mean, no, no, an, no one anime is right for everybody, you know. <laughs> Okay, so let's finish off Giraffe Egg here, and then we'll go for a Magical Leaf on the Sea King. That'll work. Like, I mean, just is it done? Like, uh, like I know, I know that it like has like sort of a weird process, but um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I know that it's like a it's a weird story that like it like stops and then like restarts or something to that effect, like with different characters. I don't know. I don't know enough about it to like know for sure, but <laughs> yeah, I'll watch it eventually. I, uh, but I'm, I'm gonna be cringe. I'm gonna be cringe and watch the dubs though, because that's just the kind of that's just kind of the kind of kind of anime fan I am. What can I say? Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna protect with ball and magical leaf to finish out the seeking. Sarge says each part is a self-contained story, so it can go on forever. Gotcha. Okay, we will. I will. I will. I will get that figured out. I will get that figured out. Yeah, I'll watch. If it, I was gonna say, uh, what parts are dubbed? Because I'll watch those. I will watch those. You, wait, you Yu Hakusho show round seventeen? What? What is round seventeen, Dapper Kirby? Just so I'm clear. <laughs> I mean, yeah, to, to each their own, Maxie. I mean, like, uh, if you don't like it, you don't like it. But, you know, some people like it. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Um, all right, let me... I'm going to go back and heal real fast just to play it safe. We zoom in with speed up. Very nice. There we go. Oh, I thought you meant, like, round 17, like, uh, like uh, round 17 of, like, the Dark Tournament or something like that. <laughs> Okay, I get you. As in, like, yeah, I'm gonna watch it again, yes. I mean, I have watched that show many, many times. It's my favorite show! It's my favorite anime. I love it. I actually just got a t-shirt from Walmart that, uh, that had Yu Yu Hakusho characters on it. It made me happy. I was, I, I actually popped off to, like, see a Yu Yu Hakusho shirt at Walmart. <laughs> it's like, do people even know what this show is anymore? I don't know. Is it popular right now? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, yep, we'll stay out, stay out with these guys out front. Uh, I, I believe that we're about to fight Lavrina again. Yep, there she is. Hey, girl. Dabber Kirby says, all parts are currently finished. Uh, are All parts currently finished are also dubbed, so parts one through five. Awesome, Dabber Kirby. Thank you for that. I will have to check those out eventually. Because, um, uh, yeah, that's um, that's how I that's that's how I would probably wind up watching it. So we'll get there when I get there. <laughs> I am so going to defeat you. Here I come. Let's go, Lavrina. Those are some enviable pigtails, I will say. Okay, um, actually, not a big fan of these particular Pokemon uh, fighting here. Let's, um... Let's see, Gorbis and Gardevoir. Gardevoir scares the shit out of me, honestly. I think I should probably go into Franklin and Muddle. I'm gonna do that, yeah. I, I don't. I, I literally know nothing about the show, you guys. Just to be clear, so any any references to it will will fall on. I know like words like I know what a stand is, but that's like basically like the extent of my JoJo knowledge. <laughs> okay, attract. That's kind of annoying. Um, I guess that means my shadow ball. Do I have the flute for that actually? I'm actually not sure. I don't think I do. I think it's the red flute that, is, that removes infatuation. I don't think I have that one. The blue and the yellow, but not the red. Well, we'll see if we can break through. 
Um, in the meantime, um, I guess just protect on metal. Gotta be very careful on the on this fight. Admins are scary. Ah, psychic. Okay, we ate that up relatively well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just honestly, Maxi, just the characters in this game look r ridiculous in general. <laughs> all the all of the the characters in this game are are abominations from from hell. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. Let me let me switch Franklin out so that we can hopefully do something here. Uh, and I guess I'll just go for a water pulse on Gardevoir. Another Psychic. That was a crit, and it's not very effective. Very good, very good. Ice Beam. Okay, we're fine. Uh, we, I guess we could just stay in here. Let's just, yeah, let's just, um... Thunderbolt that Gardevoir, and we'll just double up on it. That sounds good. Ooh, ooh, good damage. Good damage on the Gardevoir there. Can the Water Pulse finish it off there, Muddle? I would appreciate it. Very nice. And Ball hits level 41. Very cool. Got Rosilia. Gonna have to switch from uh, from Muddle at this point. I guess. Hmm. Does Muddle have Protect? I think it might. So I could just Thunderbolt or uh, sorry, Psychic the Rosilia and then just Protect. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just do that so I don't have to switch. Hopefully the Psychic will just knock out the Rosilia in one hit. Hey, very nice. Didn't even have to worry about it. Yeah, no, it's a, it, yeah. The animation of this game, uh, uh, just across the board, are really good. Dapper Kirby, but yeah, Ice Beam is pretty cool. I believe that's a Shadow Farfetch, but we're not worried about catching it, of course. Whew, that was uh, that was big damage. All right, let's go for Thunderbolt. Or Thunderbolt on the Farfetch'd, yeah. Uh, actually, maybe I'll just go for a Thunderbolt on Gorobus, and then we'll just go for a Water Pulse on Farfetch'd. That sounds good. Yeah, that's the retro market for you, Maxi. <laughs> it really sucks. It just it it sucks. It sucks to be a retro gamer. All right, Franklin hits 41. Ooh, Willow Wisp? That's kind of good, though. Uh, hold up, I kind of want that. Uh, goodbye, Confuse Ray. Yeah, we absolutely want Willow Wisp. That's an awesome move. <laughs> That'll be very helpful. That could uh, that could actually uh, that could actually save me at some point. Shadow Altaria, I'm pretty sure. Yep. 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 Actually, good damage on the Farfetch there. Not too shabby. We avoid the Shadow Panic. Okay, so it's like it's like oh, it's like a it's like a double hitting Confuse Ray. That's actually kind of horrifying. <laughs> uh, okay, let's uh, let's finish off that Farfetched, and um, I do have the Yellow Flute, I think. Right? Did I pick one up? Yeah, Yellow Flute. Get the far fetched out of here. Which 
Shadow Mist. I forget what that does. A lot of these shadow moves are, are kind of, uh, I have forgotten about them mostly. <laughs> okay, evasiveness goes down. That's like, who cares? <laughs> who cares about evasiveness? That's weird. Uh, okay, so now we'll go for uh, Psychic and I, I guess Water Pulse. <laughs> Don't have anything else to hit you with. Bonk. Not quite enough. I don't think we'll kill this round, but one more round and then we should be good. Shadow Break. I don't remember what that does either. Probably an attack, though. Oof, that's a lot of damage. It's a strong, strong attack. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I like raising my evasiveness stuff for Kirby. I don't, I don't. Uh, if, but if it if it gets lowered and I'm not like actively spamming double to you, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna protect here just to be play it. I think Psychic should kill. I just don't want Muddle to go down. I'd rather go heal at the healing station than waste a potion. He's explode. I'm not doing that SPS. <laughs> I would never do that. I would never do that. <laughs> it's against the rules. Not the rules, but it's against it's against my my desires. <laughs> <laughs> Lids, she cares about evasiveness. <laughs> no. Okay, maybe a little. <laughs> All right, Lavrina goes down though. Very good. No ball, you can't evolve. You're just baby. You're just a little baby. Oh, I'm almost out of coffee again. I'm really, I'm really draining my, draining my cup. I'm gonna go get one more cup after, after I heal. Oh, you're terrible. I mean, really, Master Grieve will be oh so cross with me again. Oh, how I dislike you. I'll be glad when Master Grieve and XD001 make you pay. So yeah, uh, Love Rina, fun fact about Love Rina in this game. She made Shadow Lugia. Just straight up. She, she, get out of my way, yo. Um, <laughs> I, like, I, I always found it weird. Like, doesn't she have, like, Mook energy? Like, she's, like, super, like, not that important. But yeah, she just straight up made Shadow Lugia. No big deal. <laughs> you know, the thing on the box art? Just just made it. I don't know. I just I, I find that fascinating that like she of all people is the scientist responsible for Shadow Lugia. And it's just like, huh. Alright. <laughs> uh alright, let's see. Who do we want out front? Um let's swap over to how about do ooh, let's do let's do muddle and nanners together. Those, those are always a good good little batch. It's not they already said that Yumi. It's not spoilers. <laughs> they said that in this game already. Like back when we met her in the lab, like three streams ago. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Real quick, I am just gonna go get a, 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 a one last refill. I promise this is the last time that I'll go on standby. I just want to get one last refill on coffee, and then we'll be good to go. <laughs> Spoilers for the box art. <laughs> You're a goofball, Yumi. Um, Sarge is really she has a uh, team skull, but yeah, no, I don't know. She's just she's just she's an interesting character. I really like Love Rina, though. I'd love to see her in like Pokemon Masters or something like that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go on standby real quick. You guys just get a refill. I uh, run to the restroom. That whole the whole nine yards. So uh, yeah, I shall return shortly.
Okay, I have returned. Thank you for your patience once again. Uh, <laughs> Jabber Kirby says, wait, Shadow Lugia is in this game? Wow, thanks, Lids. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I've, I've truly ruined it. As if the D in XD on the logo didn't already do that, but, you know. <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, Starchamp says, uh, also, you know who I want to see in this game? Charles. Ooh, the Heartbreaker. <laughs> I'm a Heartbreaker. My name, Charles. <laughs> I like Charles. He's a cool guy. <laughs> um, all right, let's go. <laughs> oh, hello. Where did you fall from? Isn't that like the the grating, like right above us from the ceiling? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? All right, well, whatever. <laughs> this is a proper research facility, sweetie. A little, a, a, a little, little one like you should be in here. <laughs> Uh, Yubi says, wait, uh, what does XD even mean in this game? I don't know what it's, st I don't know if it stands for anything in particular. They call Shadow Lugia XD001. So I guess it's like a, just a code name. Um, but I honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they just used XD to like be a cool series of letters. <laughs> Cause it sounds cool, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Sergeant says, I also want Charles in Ma Yo, if Charles was in Masters, I would, I would play that game again. Like straight up, I would. I would do that. <laughs> uh, okay, well, the crowbat is a little bit of a problem, actually. Um, well, hell, both of these for, are a problem for nanners. Um, I wish I had protect on nanners. I didn't think I would need it, but... Uh, yeah, let me let me swap over to cobalt real fast. And for this turn, I'll just... Uh, water pulse, I guess? It's a, it's a thing to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I like the idea that it is the emoticon, that that's what it means. It was just, I mean, it is from, like, what, like, 2005 or something like that? So it's, like, prime XD era. <laughs> uh, Democrat says, oh, I didn't know XD was referring to Lugia. It was just, like you said, uh, cool-looking letters. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that was, like, the, the design intent, but yeah, um... Uh, Shadow Lugia's code name is XD001. They've, they've mentioned that a couple of times in the dialogue. Um, but yeah. So, fun stuff. Fun stuff. Alright, let's knock out that Survivor with an Earthquake real fast. Nice try, Bucko. The Viper gets bonked. <laughs> Adam Cruz says, also, why is Crobat's face uh, uh, unsettling, unsettlingly detailed? <laughs> I uh, I think we talked about this uh, in a previous stream for XD as well. Yeah, he's just, I, this is just Stadium 2. Stadium 2 Crobat is just ugly AF. <laughs> don't, uh, don't know what to make of it, really. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's go for let's go for a metal claw. Let's double up on Crobat. Get that out of here. Wing attack. All right, yeah, we should finish off the Crobat. Very good. I like how thick his uh, his eyebrows are. The Crobat. Did you guys see that? He's got like a. Uh, like caveman brow. <laughs> Kinda like it though. <laughs> there we go. Crobat's out of here. Hey, metal hits level 41. Very nice. Very nice. I am actually getting a little bit nervous about the end game here, though, considering we're we're a good ways into City Dark Isle at this point, and uh, we're still only like barely approaching 41. <laughs> We're almost done with the 41s. That makes me a little nervous about the end. Uh, I do not want to get, like, destroyed by level 50s. That'll be kind of lame. Hopefully, I, mean, I guess we could go grind at some point, but we'll figure it out when we get there, I guess. Uh, Alright, let's, um... God, all these Pokemon, I can't Earthquake. Feels bad. Uh, Alright, let's double up on the Masquerade. Ha <laughs> ha 
the Star Champ says it's like handsome Squidward, but worse. <laughs> nice, Star Champ. Get him, Cobalt. Ooh, not quite enough to finish. Unfortunate. Luckily, this is Gen 3 Masquerade, where it's not very good. <laughs> Alright, we will Water Pulse the Chimico. Ooh, critical hit. Very nice. Very, very nice there, uh, Muddle. Proud of you. <laughs> uh, Napker says, are the final bosses really like 10-15 level jump? Now I know where Sinnoh gets its inspiration. No, it's not, it's not that bad. Um, the start of this area has, like, uh, like, like, high 30s? Or no, mid 30s, it looks like. Like, 34 here. Uh, yeah, and then the, yeah, the, the the final bosses of this area have level 50s, but it's a lot. It's also a really, really long dungeon with a lot of trainers in it. So we might be okay. We might be slightly under leveled when we get there, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, the, the the final boss has I think a team of level 50s is what uh, is what Duke told us earlier. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll make it work. We're, we're we're damn close if nothing else. Hello. Doctor, we can generate even bigger waves this way, isn't it great? Alright. <laughs> uh, what you guys up to? Hey! A whirlpool is created when current waters collide. Try it when you're taking a bath. Excuse me? <laughs> I kind of like that guy. We got good waves going today. From the island, it keeps others away. Isolated is how we want to stay. Ooh. This guy's a, this guy's a poet and didn't even know it. Alright, hello! You don't get to see too many kids here. Are you a child of one of the research people? We're responsible for keeping Cytodark Isle ringed with vicious waves. Thanks to this place, it's not easy for ships to approach Cytodark Isle. Ultra Ball, five of them. That's nice, I guess. <laughs> We're researchers. We, uh, we researchers are honored and happy to serve Master Greville. Our research funding is more than generous, and it's incredibly fun to create giant waves. <laughs> That's funny. They're here because it's fun. How wholesome. We're right in the middle of putting the finishing touches on our Shadow Pokemon plan. We don't need you meddling. Let's go. It's Litner. Ooh, like a, like a, it's spelled different, but it's kind of like a character from Gurren Logon. Very nice. Very nice. Hmm. You want to talk about a good anime? You guys, go watch Gurren Logon. Fantastic show. Fantastic show, if you have not seen it already. Uh, okay, the Mischievous, of course, has freaking Levitate. Obnoxious, but fine. Um, yeah, we should be good here. Let's just Magical Leaf, Mischievous, and Earthquake. Get that Electrode out of here. Thunderbolt! Yikes! Oh, critical hit, too. Ugh. Glad it's neutral. <laughs> it's good to enjoy your job. It's true. I'm happy for all the scientists here at the at the evil at the evil shadow Pokemon generating Citadark Dark Isle. <laughs> at least they have at least they have a good time, even though they're all going to jail. <laughs> Fire Champ says, "Liz, you made a rhyme, but you can't do it every time." <laughs> I did. I did make a rhyme. It was very good. Not too bad, not too bad. Also, you guys should uh, uh, keep an eye open for uh, Miss Drevis's, uh fainting animation. It's rather, rather amusing. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna knock out this. Uh, I'm gonna double up on Claydol real fast. Claydol kind of scares me a little. Uh, Sergeant says, believe in, believe, believe in me that believes in you, believing in me that believes in you. Yes, that is Gurren Lagann in a nutshell. <laughs> you are not wrong, Star Champ. <laughs> Ooh, psychic. Can you chill? Ugh. We're a little, little low on the on the HP bar here. I feel like there's another healing station coming up, but I'm probably gonna go back and heal again after this one, <laughs> just to play it safe. And I got the speed up too, so it's not even that big of a deal. Ooh, Kangaskhan. I think that's Shadow too. I think it's a Shadow Kangaskhan if I remember right. Yep, yep. It sure is. Okay, yeah, let me, um... Mm, I'm just gonna use Nanners' turn to heal. And 
then we'll have Muddle go for an Earthquake, I think. Mm, maybe I should heal. I'll heal Muddle, too. I'll heal Muddle, too. Yeah, that's a good idea. Actually, uh, I'm going to Protect on Muddle to stall a turn, and then I can use Nanners' turn to heal next turn. I think that'll be good. Shadow Mist. Okay. That's the Evasion Lowering one, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we good, we good. Okay, so now let's go for, yeah, we'll use Nanners' turn to heal Muddle. We'll use the uh, the Super Potion, though. Might as well take advantage of those. Very good. And then, yeah, Muddle will go for an EQ to hopefully knock out the Kangaskhan. Uh, SBS says, so I had a fun time falling down the rabbit hole of shit racist comic book takes. That sounds awful. <laughs> but, like, I get it, like, in, like, the, like... It's so, it's so, like, ridiculous and unbelievable that it, like, you can't look away. I totally understand. I totally understand. As I, uh, like I said, I don't like to get super political on, on stream. And this isn't really political, to be clear. But I have not been able to stop following the whole Johnny Depp, Amber Heard situation. It is fascinating. <laughs> I'm not going to, like, get into it or anything like that. But I just have to say, I cannot stop watching that whole, like, trial situation. It's, it's very amusing. <laughs> so, yeah, so, sometimes it's just, like... You can't help but, like, just indulge in, like, the absolute absurdity. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, Magical Leaf on Mistrevious, and another Earthquake. <laughs> SPS says, I don't even want to hear those names. I totally understand. <laughs> I totally understand. <laughs> Alright, Kangaskhan almost out of here. But not quite. Shadow Ball. Actually kind of a little spooked by that. Now nah, we're fine. We're fine. I keep forgetting Mystery. This is not very strong. <laughs> hey, Mystery. This goes out. Look at it. It's so silly. It like melts. <laughs> it's very amusing. I don't know why. Bonnet. Okay. That's not Shadow. Oh, it is Shadow! Oh, crazy! That's cool. That's a cool Shadow Pokémon. Okay, I probably need to go ahead and heal again. Let me... I'll Hyper Potion. Uh, actually, let's, oh, yeah, let's do the same process as before. We'll Protect again. <laughs> Yubi says Mistrevious has a decent special attack, but Shadow Ball is physical in Gen 3. Yeah, it certainly is. <laughs> it sure is. Feels bad. Ooh, are they doubling up Shadow Rush? Okay, no, that went for Muddle. Very good. Okay, yeah. Nanners, use your turn. Uh, I'm just gonna Hyper Potion, get up to full. Muddle up to full health. And then Muddle go for Earthquake. Ooh, god, that's a little close for comfort, actually. Bennett still hasn't hit. That makes me nervous. <laughs> that makes me really nervous. Yeah, Earthquake wasn't enough to kill the Bennett. Please don't hit Tropius. I don't think it will kill unless it crits, but please don't. Okay, thank you. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so now we should be we should be good. We'll go ahead and um, just, just be careful here. I'll Super Potion up uh, Nanners. And then we'll have Muddle finish off the Bonnet. No problem. Ooh, very good, very good. Not too shabby at all. The Shadow Pokemon, I know, very cute, very cute. I like Bonnet, it's a cool Pokemon. Very cool Pokemon. I like Mega Bonnet a lot too, that's a good one. I know we've asked this for for question of the day in the past, but um, I'm just curious. What, what's you guys' favorite mega mega evolutions? Um, I, I've definitely asked that for question of the day, but I just I, I I'm oh dang it! This is not the direction I wanted to go. I didn't want to fight with someone yet. <laughs> I I thought this was the way back. Okay, well we're fighting this guy before I go heal, I guess. It's oh that's just a regular name. Yo, this guy has a regular name. I mean, it's spelled a little different than I'm used to seeing, but hey, it's Grayson. Hey, Grayson, how's it going? <laughs> 
They ran. They must have ran out of silly, obs obscure, ridiculous consonants names. <laughs> uh, okay. And I, all these, all these, all these stinking Pokemon that um, don't get hit by earthquake drive me nuts. Um, okay, let's body slam and earthquake. Yeah. Lord Sans, that's a little scary. Uh, Yumi says Gallade and, uh, and Beedrill and Adsol. Ah, uh, very, all very good choices, Yumi. All very good choices. Davikari says probably Mega Ampharos for me. Such a beautiful main. Though Charizard X and Y are really cool as well. Yeah, that, that, those are very cool. They are very, very cool. <laughs> no one can deny it. No one can deny it. Uh, my favorites are, are Mega Lopunny and Mega Audino. <laughs> Go figure on the auto note. But I also, I love Mega, Mega Lopunny. I love that it's like a freaking yoga instructor. That's really funny. <laughs> Ooh, Magical Leaf on the Sand Slash. That'll be good. Probably, probably double up on it. I mean, I could. I should also probably just finish off the uh, Ninjask, though. We'll do that. We'll do it that way. Oh, that actually kind of scares me. <gasps> oh, God. Because I, I, it, it Swords Danced and then it Aerial Ace. That's horrifying. I didn't think you'd actually have a flying move. Please go down, Sand, Sand Slash. Thank you. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> that was really scary. Ugh. Learning Solar Beam? Uh, that's a fun idea. Ah, uh, do I want Solar Beam? I guess I don't need Razor Leaf and Magical Leaf. But Razor Leaf hits both Pokemon, though. Do I need Growth? It could be... Uh, growth could be good for setting up. Um, what do you guys think on this one? Uh, Sergeant so says Mega Audino, also Gallade, Gardevoir, uh, Absol, and Lucario. All very good choices. Ooh, that's a good. That's another good one. That's probably number three, honestly. Honestly, Dapper Kirby, yeah, Mega Slowbro. Mega Slowbro is really good too. <laughs> I like it. I like it. What do you guys think on this? Should I should I get rid of um, what should I get rid of for Solar Beam? If I should should or should I just keep the? Excuse me. Uh, should I just keep the moves as is? What do you guys think on this one? I'm actually struggling a little bit here. <laughs> Yumi says, "Is there a chance the sun will ever be out?" Um, I mean, I don't I don't run Sunny Day on anyone here. Um, so probably not. Probably not. Sergeant says pass. Okay, it seems like, yeah, it seems like you guys think it's a bad idea, so I'll just skip it then. I mean, I've never used growth, but that's because I, I usually one-shot stuff. But if I if I needed the opportunity to set up, it could be useful. It could be useful. I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip it, Dapper Kirby, I think. Okay, yeah, we need to get, um, okay, we need to get that Ninjask out of here. Okay, yeah, Body Slam, finish it off. Very good. Very good. Ninjask is gone. <laughs> Whew, that was a little spooky. That was just a wee bit spooky. Okay, um, yeah, let me, he let me go ahead and heal up. Heal up Nanners up to full. I say, I already got rid of Solar Beam, so I'm not worried about Sunny Day at this point. Um, but yeah. Okay, and then yeah, we'll go for an earthquake. Very good, very good. Not too shabby at all. Man, is it already? It's already been almost two hours. That's crazy. I guess I'm having fun. <laughs> you know, time time goes by quickly when you're having fun. I'm 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 having a lot of fun being back for XD. I really am. I missed you guys so much. Holy cow! Like like don't get me wrong. I needed the um, I needed the break absolutely. But I really did. I really did miss you guys quite a bit. So thanks everybody for coming. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate everybody reaching out and. Uh, being cool and and chit chatting in the Discord and all that stuff, and then just yeah, I'm glad that you guys are all here. It makes me happy. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go heal at the healing station real quick though, just to uh, just to play it safe. I think I'm like 90% sure that there's another one like 
literally around the corner, but just in case I run into like another crazy battle that I'm not prepared for, I just want to make sure we're safe. <laughs> oh, come on, SPS. <laughs> Can't you just be wholesome for once? <laughs> Aw, you're so kind, Dapper. See, why can't you be more like Dapper Kirby, SBS? <laughs> Thank you, Dapper Kirby. You're a sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, you have to, SBS. Say nice things. <laughs> he is wholesome. Nice. Because <laughs> I'm not a suck up. <laughs> uh. You tickle me sometimes, SPS. You really do. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Uh, does this lady over here fight? I didn't talk to her before. Hello. I'm gonna change my change into my white lab outfit, so don't come in. Promise me, okay? Uh, okay. <laughs> Hyper potions, yay. It'd be funny if you, like, came back later and she was actually, like, in the scientist garb. That'd be amusing. Another item. All right, very good. Into the elevator we go. Oop, we got it. We got mail. <laughs> we got more mail. I actually love this. It's just a gag about Egan being an old man, so he doesn't know how to text. <laughs> Dear Linz, hello, this is my first email. I'm sorry that I sent an empty message by mistake. I also apologize for the misspellings. I'm embarrassed by these mistakes and what? The email text is cut off. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good gag, guys. <laughs> it's funny because old people are just not familiar with technology. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, where am I going here? Oh, that's right, you push blocks in this room. I remember this. I remember. Let's push that. Uh, yeah, that blocks off the lava. And, um... Yeah, let me go over here and push this other one, too. Oh, there's another one up there, too, I should go and push. Push all of them! Push all of the things! There you go, there you go. I don't I don't really know how that works in like practice, but sure. <laughs> sure, why not? Back up here and push this one. <laughs> what else is new, Star Champ? Haha. <laughs> it, it's just a joke though. <laughs> I know what you mean, you're uh you're Rabombi <laughs> in your game. That's cute. Okay, some revives, all right, we can, I mean, I would say in theory we could sell those, but I probably won't because we're just about done with the game, but I digress. Uh, ooh, I want to I wanna go in there. What's in there? Oh, oh, I can get over there from over here, maybe? Wait, how do I get over there? I probably have to go around or something. Dapper Kirby says, quick, how do we make this dungeon fun and engaging? I'm pretty sure the kids loved the Seafoam Islands, but thought it was too fast. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not you're not off there, Dapper Kirby. <laughs> it's just, a, just fun strength puzzles that everybody enjoys. At least you don't have to go into the menu and make your Pokemon do it. That's nice, at least. Can I, like, jump down, or do I have to go around? Oh, I gotta go around. All right. Uh, is there anything else to explore over over yonder? Or? Nope, not really. Just uh, just 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 follow the follow the straight path. It seems pretty straightforward. Pick up uh this. I whoop! Hello. I was actually just trying to get that item, but all right. Hey, dude, how's it going? <laughs> you hang it tough with this magma hot heat. I thought I was going to melt waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping off any alleged, do you think this is a 2022 Pokemon? I mean, I know it's crazy. My expectations are a little too high, I guess, for, for 2005 Pokemon. <laughs> 
God, it's crazy to think this game is so as old as it is. <laughs> it's 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 over 15 years old. That is absurd. That is absurd. I remember when this this game was the hotness. Uh, ooh, actually, this is unfortunate. Um, I gotta switch Nanners out. I guess into Franklin. And we'll go for Water Pulse on Houndoom. Use Ray, okay. On Muddle, unfortunate. Powell. Come on, Muddle. Yay! Almost knocks out the Hound Doom. Not quite, though. Okay. Now let me... Oh man, this is tricky. Uh, I'm going to use your turn to heal the Confusion. And then have Muddle go for a Water Pulse to finish off the Houndoom. Ooh, sunny day. It's gonna be, gonna be time to start going for the EQs, but I need to get set up right for it. Ooh, that did a lot more damage than I expected, actually. I guess uh, Houndoom has a really good special attack, though, so that makes sense. Alright, Houndoom is down. Vile Plume. Unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to switch on that one. Absolutely. Um here we'll just go for a um Ooh. Hmm. Do have Earthquake. But I don't have a safe switch for that. Uh, I'll just go for a Willow Wisp on the Vile Plume, I guess. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna heal Franklin. I'm gonna heal Franklin and then switch. Uh yeah, yeah. That's that's the play. That's the play, I think. Heal Franklin. It might use Solar Beam, SBS. Yes, that's correct. It may use Solar Beam. It does have the Sunny Day set up. Um, so who do we go out to? Ugh, that's actually kind of... I don't really have a great switch, to be honest. Um, Muddle is super, super weak to, to, to grass. Um, so I'm going to switch to Jirachi, but even that's not... I'm not a fan of that. That Ninetales could hit me with fire in the sun. That would be really lame. I doubt he would have gone for it on the Whiskash slot, to be clear, but... Ooh. Dig? Okay. I wonder I wonder which which Pokemon he went for Dig on. Uh, does Jirachi have Protect? It might. I could hit that Ninetales really hard with an Earthquake. We do have Protect. Awesome. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> okay, well, Ninetales went first. Wah, wah. Should still deal some major damage to the Ninetales, though, of course. Very good. Okay, so from here, let's go for... Uh, let's go for a Shadow Ball on Ninetales and a Psychic on Vileplume. Very good, Vileplume is down. Magmar. I think that's Shadow, if I remember right. Yep, yep. Nailed it. Star Champ says, Sabrina gets Toxic. Guess I know what her build's gonna be. Ooh, very nice. Star Champ, very nice. Go for it. Toxic Protect, baby. Unfortunately, we don't knock out that Ninetales. That's lame.
Um, how do I want to do this? I, I do want to get that that stinking mag or uh, that stinking <sighs> the magmar. That kind of scares me now. Ah, oh, this is uh this is not working out in my favor. Um, let me. I guess I'll full restore. I, I can go back out to Muddle, I guess. Yeah, let's full restore Franklin. And then I'll go back out to Muddle. That sounds like a plan. Shadow Rave. That hits both of, both of my mons, I believe. Not too bad, not too bad. Confuse Ray is so annoying. I'm so done with you, Ninetales. <laughs> I am so done with your freaking Confuse Ray. All right, I'm just, I'm just gonna have, um, um, I'm just gonna go for Shadow Ball. I'm just gonna double up on the Ninetales with, with normal attacks. Get out of here. Get out of here with your nonsense. Shadow Rush. Okay, that's fine. I love that. I love that Dustclaw like sweeps off his chest. It's really funny to me. <laughs> I rather like it. All right, Nine Tails is finally down. Holy cow! That was uh, that took forever. <laughs> a pincer. That should be a shadow pincer, if I remember right. Sure is. Okay, let's, um, I'm gonna protect with Franklin, and then use Muddle's turn to full restore Franklin. Got a rush. Protected, very good. Shadow Break. Also protected. Ooh, they tried to double up on me, rude. Very rude. All right, from here, we can go for Earthquake and Muddle has Protect, right? Yep. Shadow Break. Oh, that was a little close for comfort. SBS says, too bad that Diglett variant from Scarlet and Violet wasn't real. It looked like it was from the hills of the Mario world. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> that would have been awesome, SBS. I don't think I saw that one. Can you, uh, if you if you know where to where to find it, SBS, if you wouldn't mind posting that in the Discord, I would love to see that. That sounds adorable. <laughs> okay. Uh, from here, we can protect again. And Earthquake again, just with the reverse rolls. Break, uh, same, same, same deal, except they went for the other Mon, huh? Ugh, God, that makes me nervous. Ugh, any critical hit is gonna give me a really, really bad day. <laughs> Alright, Magmar's down, finally. Okay, we're gonna have to take a turn to get both of these guys all healed up real fast <laughs> just to play it safe. Alright, very good. Shadow Break once again. Oof, god. That's a lot of freaking damage. Okay, let me, I'll protect with Franklin, and we'll just go for a Water Pulse. Wait, it failed, oh no! Wait, did I just, did I just protect with Franklin? Oh wait, no, did I just fuck up? Did I just fuck up really bad? I did! No! 
<laughs> what is wrong with me? I just protected. I just protected with Franklin. What am I doing? No. Oh, it's because I healed. That's why I got all screwed up in my head. Yeah, that's what it was. That was the problem. That was because I, I, I took a turn to heal and I was like, okay, we're good. Taking a turn to heal does not reset protects counter. I for I, I that's why that's what that's where my brain got all, all screwed up there. No, Franklin, <laughs> that sucks. Ah, oh, that's so lame. That's so lame. Ah, uh, what a shame. What a shame. <laughs> How's the coffee working out for you? Says SPS. <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean that. I mean, so the, obviously, totally my bad. Totally, totally my bad. But um. It, there was a reason for it. I, it wasn't just like complete dead brain. It, like there was like a rationale behind why I was like, oh, we're safe to go for protect. Like we didn't protect last turn. It's because we healed last turn. That's lame. <laughs> That's lame. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, it was always a possibility. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. We'll have to go hit the hit the box before we can proceed as well. Ah, very lame. Very lame. All right. Well, it happens. Uh, just go out to just go out to stinking cobalt, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I should switch to G fuel. Oh hell yeah! That's the gamer juice, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's, like, makes some sense, Star Champ, but it's frustrating because, like, it just, it, you'd think it would just based on, like, the way that, that, that it, like, feels, right? But, I don't know. Yeah, it's very bizarre. Oh, well. What you gonna do? Oh, God. A lot of damage. Right, just get out of here, Pinsir. Jeez. <laughs> just get out of here. <laughs> You should have been dead forever ago. Just leave. Just leave. <laughs> ah, freaking group hell out here. Ah, man. What a shame. What a shame. All right, let's go figure out what we're adding to the squad. Hopefully we have something that can just slide right onto the squad, like, immediately, and not be, you know, too, too much of a trouble to, you know, grind up or anything like that. I'm still determined to finish the uh, finish this game off on today's stream. So, <laughs> oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, let me. I want to take a peek at that real quick. SPS. Uh, let's uh, let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. Um. Oh, <laughs> that's adorable. That's adorable. SPS. I love that. I love that. Yeah, you guys check out the general chat if you want to see that silly diglet. <laughs> that's that's beautiful. SPS. I like that a lot. Okay, let me uh, let me quickly speed on over to uh, stinking the PC so we can figure out who we're adding to the squad. That sucks about the dustclops, though. That really sucks. Yeah, I know. One day back and something's already dead. I mean, it happens. It happens. Like there was always a very real possibility of it happening. I never, I never, I never doubted for a second that it was it wasn't likely. Like, I knew, I knew it could happen. It just sucks that it's a really good Pokemon like Dusclops. Um, but, you know, what you gonna do? Let me, uh, let me grab the item off of him real fast. I hope that there's something that we can just, like, slap onto the team, like, straight up, and that I don't have to grind anything. That would be really annoying. Okay, let's see here. Um, okay, yeah, Franklin. I'm sorry, Franklin. Goodbye. Okay, so, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're basically, we've beaten all the admins, so we're basically good to add anyone we want, as long as they are capable of evolving. So, ooh, level 51, 51 Murkrow ain't, ain't a terrible idea. Um, Sableye. Murkrow's really tempting, actually, um, just because it's so, so high level. Um, we've beat all the admin. The admins kind of, like, exist as the, um, the, what's it called? The the stinking uh, level cap for us uh, in this game. It's, we already beat Gorigan. Gorigan was like the last admin before like the final gauntlet here, which is basically the equivalent of the Elite Four. Um, so we're good to add the Murkrow if we want. It would be quite a bit stronger than the rest of our team, but I'm not opposed to that. The Murkrow, I believe, is from uh, from Coliseum. Because yeah, everything else is pretty pretty dang low level wise. <laughs> um, 
So it's a it's it's kind of a matter of deciding. Uh, no, Groudon does not count, and also Groudon can't Mega Evolve technically. It can Primal Revert, but regardless, it does not count. <laughs> um, Shantae is a Meta Champ, so that's not applicable. That doesn't evolve. Uh, P that's a Pelipper, I believe. Dollface is a Bennett. Yeah, there, there's not even anything that's like remotely close for a good little while here. So let's, uh, yeah, let's just add the Murkrow, I think. Um, that'll, that'll do. That'll do. Girl Voss, welcome to the squad. Go ahead, and I'm probably not gonna, granted, it's still a Murkrow. Murkrow is not very good. <laughs> so I doubt it'll see a whole lot of play, but at least it's something we don't have to grind a whole lot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Starship says freaking Venonat doing a jumpy. I know, yeah, Dapper Kirby reposted that this morning, uh, a video of Venonat jumping around. Super stinking cute. <laughs> I, I I love that. Uh, all right, yeah, there we go. We got the Murkrow. Very nice. Uh, uh, SPS says, what does it have? Let's take a peek, shall we? Girl boss, what do you have? You have Faint Attack, Mean Look, Nightshade, and Fly. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, Girl Boss. <laughs> Girl Boss. I believe it was named by uh, our good friend Cosmic Casper. Um, which, oh, speaking of which, because uh, I was reminded, um, Cosmic Casper is one of my mods. Awesome, awesome person. Awesome, awesome streams that they do. Um, they are so close to affiliate. They are so stinking close to affiliate. So if anyone here um, hasn't already gone and um, and followed Cosmic Casper, Go follow Cosmic Casper. They're so close to affiliate. So I just I just want to shout them out again because I really want them to like they deserve it. They're super awesome. So um, yeah, definitely go follow Cosmic Casper if you have not already. Um, I'm sure that they would be very grateful, and I would I would be pleased as well. So yeah, go do that. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, yeah, girl boss looking good here. Um, not terrible honestly. Faint attack, mean look, nightshade, fly. Yeah, no, why not? Why not? That's, that's, that's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll take it. We will take it. All right, cool. Let's um, let us progress then. Glad we don't have to do any grinding. That makes me happy. <laughs> that makes me happy. It's it's also one more Pokemon that's immune to Earthquake as well, so that's cool. Although we did just lose one of our Earthquakers, which is really lame. Um, yeah, that was uh, we 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 wasted our TM26 on Dusclops, and now it's gone. So that feels kind of bad. But what you gonna do? All right, let's go. Hopefully this is not, like, a sign of things to come as far as losing a whole bunch of mons. I hope that we don't just, like, start to systematically lose our whole team. That would be really lame. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's scurry here. Yeah, oh, speed up. I forgot about speed up. Back into the lava room. And yeah, here we go. Ah yeah, there's the healing station I was thinking of. I knew it was coming up. I couldn't remember exactly where it was, but I knew it was coming up. Kind of an awkward spot for a machine, though, I will say. Behind a lava fall. <laughs> Interesting, um... Interesting p placement for that. <laughs> Helpful. Oh, there's a PC here. Why aren't they together? That's kind of weird. You'd think they would have just put it, like, in here. You look cute, but you're also brave and bold to come to a place like this. It would be a shame to beat someone like you, but this is a good chance to score some points with Master Greville. Oh, yeah, it's Kimly. There she is. Mariana and Stantler. Banners and muddle. Ooh, the double intimidate though. That's uh that just dropped our our attack to like nothing. <laughs> uh Dabber Kirby says, I'm back. What happened to Dustclops? Unfortunately, um I made a I made a goofy pl I made a goof play, Dapper Kirby. Um what happened was um so I went for protect with Dustclops. And then the following turn, <laughs> yeah, lids have it to dust cops. The following turn, I I um, healed. I healed both of my Pokemon. So I wait. I went a whole a whole turn rotation, and then on the 
subsequent turn, uh, I forgot that healing doesn't count as your, um, it doesn't count as your, uh, it, it doesn't count as not using protect last. So my, re my protect counter didn't get reset. I went for protect on Dustclops and it failed. <laughs> so I got hit when I thought I wasn't going to be hit. So that's what happened. It was lame. It was lame as hell. <laughs> Uh, uh, anyways, though, um, I should, well, I was gonna say, I don't necessarily need to switch Nanners, because I don't really need to hit them on the physical side, but I might want to switch Muddle out, though, because that Intimidate, the double Intimidate kind of sucks. Um, yeah, I think I will. I think I'll go out to Jirachi real fast. Shadow Ball, okay. Uh, Damagrease is now toxic because the only one of the harem trio that hasn't failed you. I know, <laughs> it's true. Toxic is, toxic is my, um, toxic, toxic is my, is my, is my rock. It is my rock, it will never, it will never leave, it will always stay. It will always stay in my heart. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, let's uh let's uh get the mighty in out of here. Very good, very good. Thank goose. Damage on Zangoose, little damage on Stantler. I think we can finish Stantler off with a Magical Leaf. And then we'll have Jirachi go for Psychic on the Zangoose. But there's so much so much more thinking in, in double battles than there is in just regular Pokemon. I feel like I have to stay super, super focused a lot of the time. <laughs> Jirachi hits level 42, very nice. Alright, Stantler down, very good. Flora. Let's see, we'll go for Magical Leaf on Sharpedo, and I guess just a Psychic on Sunflora is good. Ooh, critical hit. Still not very much damage though, that's good. Yep, indeed, Star Champ. Yeah, Star Champ says, well, yeah, you have two times the number of Pokemon to deal with, that's four times the difficulty. I know, yeah, it's tricky, tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. <laughs> but. We're, all things considered, we're doing okay. I don't want to get like overconfident or anything, but we're doing okay. The dust cops feels bad. That's totally on me, but ah, uh, man, that feels really bad too. <laughs> I was ah, uh, it, it sucks to lose a Pokemon that's that good, especially in Gen Three, uh, where like dust cops is just like the best from the dust call line. So it's just you know, it just feels really bad to lose it. But oh well, it happens. All right, Sunflora is down. Go back and heal up since the healing station's literally right here. Might as well. The 
gonna say we are making it pretty deep into into this uh <laughs> this area and we still haven't uh gotten as much experience as i was expecting god i hope we're okay to to finish this i'm a little nervous now to be honest perhaps i overestimated how much ex experience we'd actually get from all these trainers kind of wild but uh we'll try and make it work <laughs> we will try and make it work um okay let's see here um how do i want to do this i can't always go to like mount battle and grind too if i need to but i don't know I'd rather not do that, to be honest. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll play it by ear. I was saying we're technically already at about like the end of the end of stream time, but um, I don't know. I don't know. I uh, I don't know. I don't know if there's enough like content left at this point to like actually fill out another XD stream. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Ooh, Star Champ is redeemed. Go grind. Oh, you can make me leave the whole dang building, Star Champ. All right. All right. You redeemed it. <laughs> you redeemed it. I gotta go do it. That's all. Just a long walk back is the problem. <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's do it. That's fine. We can. I think we can leave. Uh, I think we can leave the island, right? Can we just hop into Robo Kyogre and just bounce? I think so. Hopefully. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't have a way to grind. Yeah, yeah, cool. Cool, cool. Alright, to Mount Battle we go! Uh, okay, so I guess we'll we'll try and get uh, these two. I guess. No, not a, I didn't mean to do that. No, I didn't mean to do a fresh one. I want to start at, at area three. Hold on. Continue. Area three. There we go. Perfect. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Star Champ says, you said the words, I can go grind, and I have hope. I meant, like, off screen, Star Champ. <laughs> I was, because I was contemplating, uh, I was contemplating ending stream, and then, um, here, I'll put the grinding banner up. I was contemplating ending stream, then I could grind between streams, and then pick it back up tomorrow and finish it, but, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Whatever, it ain't no big deal. <laughs> uh, where the frick is my grinding banner? There it is. Uh, okay, let's go. Uh, ooh, actually, hold up. <laughs> Let me protect. Nice try. Very nice. Right, she goes down. And yeah, I think we get healed between battles here, which is really nice. Navigator full up. <laughs> uh, Davin says, be honest, Star Chip, you get a kick out of li uh, having Lids waste time walking to grinding spots. <laughs> Star Chip says, there's that too. <laughs> rude. Very rude. I am trying to think. I'm tr I'm, it's been a while since I played this game, so I'm trying to think if there's even enough content in... <laughs> <laughs> the game to even justify it in an additional XD stream. That's the thing is, I, I'm not sure that there is. I think that if I did that, it would only be like an hour stream. I could be crazy, but I think that might be the case. So realistically, I think it just has to be a longer stream today. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I may, I may have to run in potty again here very shortly, but uh, I'll, I'll finish up uh, at least this grinding session. And I might as well, since I'm here, I might as well just go for the whole uh, Mount Battle. Um, I might as well just go for, like, this whole, like, Mount Battle ra uh, round. <laughs> no reason not to. Uh, Debacruz says, one hour stream could be fun as a one-off thing. You think so? You think so? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You know what we could do? I, I, and I've considered doing this in the past. Uh, I guess I can run it by you since we're, we're in this, uh, in this sort of, uh, situation. Um, how would you guys feel... 
Uh, just, just, yeah, give me some feedback on this. How would you guys feel if I did a po like Pokemon XD stream? And then once that was finished, as long as like the, it was, because if it was like an hour to finish it off, what if I finished XD in an hour and then started the next playthrough like immediately? What would you guys think of that? I'm just curious. I kind of thought that Water Pulse would actually kill. That's unfortunate. Thunder Wave? That's fine. SBS, SBS says sure. Okay, so we, I, we have the SBS seal of approval. Very nice. Uh, he says I have no issues with that. Interesting. Interesting. So yeah, you guys don't seem to mind. Fascinating. Fascinating. So, uh, uh, so like, I guess, like, in, in theory, right? In theory... If I were to do this grinding session and then end the stream, we could then start XD tomorrow, or, or rather, we could um, we could finish XD tomorrow. Like I said, we have we have about if I had to if I had to like like just guesstimate how much longer we have in XD, I, th I would say probably about an hour. Um, that would give me time to grind to get ready for the battles as well, because I could grind between streams. We could start XD at 11 at 11:30 a.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time tomorrow, um, and then once that's finished, just jump from that directly into Soul Silver, which is the next game, incidentally. Um, yeah, it, see, it seems like none of you have any issues with that, so yeah, um, sure, why not? <laughs> that sounds like a good plan to me. <laughs> um, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Why not? That sounds cool. Uh, Sucker says, "Would you do the poll then tonight, or have a mod doing it, uh, do one uh, during the game?" I was gonna, I was actually gonna talk to you, talk to you about that, Star Champ, because I was gonna say that would be cool to do a poll on stream. I just don't know how to do it myself. Um, uh, DM me about that later. Um, what I would, yeah, I w it, uh, in in theory, what I would probably do is, yeah, I would probably put the starter poll up tonight. Um, but uh, yeah, so I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, like I said, DM me. We'll 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 get that all squared away. But yeah, uh, I, that sounds like a good plan. Then honestly, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of for it. Uh, that sounds like a cool way to do it. Um, you know, it it could be something that we do again in the future as well. Like if we uh, if if stream is like running running really long and we just kind of want to cut it off, we could just like we we could just cut it off, finish that playthrough the next day or like the next stream time or whatever, and then just jump into the next game. That that'd be cool. I I I I'll be. It'll be an interesting experiment, if nothing else. Um, I, I, I don't see any issue with it, so um, that sounds like a good plan. Sounds like a good plan. But yeah, I'll finish this. Uh, so yeah, I'll finish this round of Mount Battle then. And then, yeah, I guess XD will, will actually finish tomorrow. Yeah, we're at a we're at a very natural stopping point. Admittedly, I'm also starving right now. I have not eaten. Uh, I had an apple uh, when I woke up like three hours ago. Um, and uh, it was not enough food. I should I should have had more. Honestly, I'm starting to get a little uh, little blood sugar. So I think this is is actually like a reasonable place to go ahead and cut it off. Uh, Tbh. Okay. All right. I think I will end it here. Yes, because I could just I could just leave. <laughs> yeah, teleport back to the reception counter. That works. Cause yeah, I, I can just do this grinding off screen. <laughs> it just occurred to me. I was just like, I don't actually need to do it. I already got the level up that, that Star Champ paid for with the points, so it works out. Um, yeah, so this is where I guess I'll go ahead and cut things off then. Uh, sort of a sort of impromptu plans, but um, I got the I got the chat seal of approval, so I uh, I'm into it. So uh, yeah, that'll be that'll be the game plan. We will. Um, we will go ahead and wrap up uh, Pokemon XD uh, tomorrow, uh, 11 a.m. Uh, uh, just for just to, to clarify, um, this week's schedule is a little different than normal. Uh, I've updated it in the schedule tab on Discord, so uh, take a look at that. We're actually I'm actually only going to have one day off this week. I, I planned it that way because I wanted to stream. <laughs> I missed streaming, so um, yeah, I have uh, I have the one day off. It's on uh, Wednesday, I believe, is what I wrote down. Um, here, let me look at that just so I'm not talking out of my ass. Uh, boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop schedule. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, Wednesday is the only day off this week. So yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, Forever Lock. Uh, we did Forever Lock today. We're gonna do XD and the start of Soul Silver tomorrow at 11:30 uh, a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So yeah, that'll be cool. 
Um, and yeah, so um, with that all said, thanks everybody for being here. Had a great time with you all. Uh, it was it was lovely to be able to chat with you all again. I miss you all so much. Um, so yeah, thanks everybody for coming. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow. Um, actually, it looks like it looks like our friend um, looks like our friend Fantastic Maxi is streaming right now. Um, I'm not sure what Albert Odyssey is, but uh, it looks like Maxi is streaming. So I think I'll go ahead and give them a raid. So stick around if you want to go hang out with that, our our lovely friend Fantastic Maxi. Um, I'll give them a raid. So in any case, I will see you guys later. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.